football day here for Sydney Catholic Schools. Game one here between Randwick, Bridgetine College and Woolwich Marist Sisters. Woolwich now getting their first use of the ball. James Preston bringing you all the action live from Holy Cross Ride. As Woolwich now working it upfield here. Beautiful conditions for touch footy. Rolling through the set quite nicely. They'll go wide early on here. Opportunity a little wider still on that particular play. Nearly getting away from them on that occasion. They'll come back to the mark now. Vela was caught. Now they head towards the middle on the follow-up. Pass just behind there for the attempt of Mara. That goes to ground. And as a result, there is the changeover. So no change to the scoreboard early on in the piece here. Before they drive through Andrietta. Roosters Jr. Hopping in at acting half once more. Popping a little short pass here for Bridgetine, but that one will go to ground. So neither side really getting into the flow of things here early on. So they bounce away off that right foot and then straighten back up once more. Opportunities through the middle now. So it's here for Schiacciatano. Why does still they come with Schiacciatano under pressure there? Just trying to squeeze through a small gap, but caught eventually. Last play now here for Woolwich. Lovely pass, still numbers out wide, but they've marked up well here, Bridgetine. The touch is made. It's a good one there from Keogh. So quite a few of these eastern suburbs, Roosters, Juniors, appearing in this Bridgetine side. So they take it right to the line, roll it back quickly. Now metres on offer here. Touch made on that occasion from Mara. So they drive forward once again here. Real nice roll on about this set here. Andrietta drops it down. Still an option in support there. They work into this right-hand side. Beautiful catch and pass. Try time here for Bridgetine through Sophia Keogh. And Keogh gets them on the ball. They'll lead 1-0 early on here at Holy Cross Ride. It's a lovely start made and a lot of the good work there off the back of the movement from Andrietta. Still waiting for some final confirmation of numbers here as well. The number 13 for Bridgetine Ramwick. Don't have her, so bear with us. We'll provide you with as much information as possible. A mutual infraction there. They'll go back on the mark to play the ball. That's Giacitano. Bouncing around once more. Giacitano hopping in an acting half. Sends it out to that right-hand side. Bounding around with oodles of energy as Vela. No opening, though. And now once more here for Kilby. Kilby drops it down. Schiacciatano. Kilby again. Kilby diving from distance. And clearing all the way through. A lovely attempt there from Kilby. Took it right to the line. Just caught them on their heels a little bit. And they even up the ledger. One try apiece. So for those used to watching Elite Touch, a little bit different here. Often see that rolling subset where they make their way towards the sideline throughout the set itself, but it's been minimal interchanges thus far. It's now Bridgetine with a chance to reply in like kind here. Bring it forward. Little short ball. Now drop down. Andrietta was looking to charge forward, but just over around the marker touch. Last play now for Bridgetine. Andrietta again wrapping around, but they'll tuck it under the wing. Head straight forward, and there is the changeover. So locked at one apiece here. Good start made here, though, for the junior girls' touch football sides. It's part of the Sydney Catholic Schools. Before they drive, lovely metres on offer here for Woolwich. It was Bassett who picked up a good 15 or so before finding support. Now up towards that halfway mark they come. Kilby. The cutout pass. And now looking for the run there of Donkin. Donkin tries to link up. Ball goes to ground. And just letting them off the hook at the moment. Andrietta once more. Rolling it directly on that halfway line. Pressure up to meet her. That was Say Donkin. Made the touch. And it's an incorrect roll ball. And as a result, there is the changeover. 
So meters to move with here and tap and go and away they go. Beautiful speed on display from Kilby who's looked very dangerous so far. Already one try. Kilby again has an option here. Getting closer toward that seven meter mark. Kilby now has them backpedaling. Kilby has another crack. The dive once again from Kilby is from the top shelf. And this one should be awarded. They'll have a final check here, I believe. No touch, there it is. Kilby gets a second. Well, Kendall Kilby is killing them. 2-1 here. Woolwich have finally found their feet. And now Bridgedine have a little bit of work to do. Restart comes. Andrietta out here in this right link position. That's the way they send it. Now she'll go back against the grain. Quick roll ball as well as they wrap around with support on that left-hand side. Turned back to the right here. Changing lines. A lot of different angles asking the questions. Andrietta sends it to this short side. Once more looking for that cutout pass here onto the wing for Keo. And Keo under all sorts of pressure. Couldn't get that one away. Or take clean possession for that matter. It's a nice contest unfolding here at Holy Cross Ride. Good metres on offer as well. Nice charge there from Michaela Shad. Also involved there was Donkin. So they head out wide now. For the run here of Mara. Turns it to this left hand side. Shad still wider still here. Couple of dummies from Donkin. Donkin takes off. Oh, way too much speed. Outstanding evasion. Couple of left foot steps from Donkin. And she made them look silly. Another try on the board here for Woolwich. A real run of form now. 3-1. Say Donkin. Couple of big Freddie Fittlers. Bang off the left foot twice. And then put the foot down. So back onto the halfway mark here at Holy Cross Ride. Meters on offer here as Andrietta pops in at acting half. Played inside the seven. Static start though. They do have numbers on that left hand side and they really haven't gone there at all so far in this match. Andrietta wrapping around at this right hand side. Now they have a look to the left. There's a decent pass. Opportunity for the last ball to get across the wing, and they do exactly that. Building nicely. It's the first time they've gone that way, Bridgetine, and it produces a result. 3-2, they cut the deficit. So back underway here for Woolwich. Short pass provided. And now, meters to be picked up here through Kilby. Already two tries so far in this match. Kilby again senses an opportunity. Goes at them hard, and now they push it wider still. Great covering defence, though. The touch made there from Andrietta. A roller back on the seven now. Kutchic. Sends it to the middle for Kilby. Kilby dropping it down, receiving it back once again. Kilby for Kacic. Kacic sending it wide, nearly getting away. Good touch made, though, there from Sofia Keo. And that will be the changeover. Well, they're hanging firm here, Bridgetine. Nice little hit back. And then strong defence to follow that up as Andrietta now drives forward. Good metres on offer. Out to the left-hand side they come. Nice charge. Once more picking up decent metres and all offside of Woolwich. So good pressure provided here from Bridgetine. The play of the ball speed is extremely quick. He's putting a lot of pressure on this defensive line as once more they drive forward. Mara still an option out wide. Oh, so too was Sophia Keo, but the pass just a little out in front of it. A bit too low as well. Now roll it back now. 
Kilby with a nice crisp short ball. Now metres on offer here. Andrietta up to make the touch. Kacic picks up a good 10 or so, plays it directly on the half. Kilby sends it wider still here for Bassett. Bassett again with room to move. Stops on the run, provides here for Kilby. Last play now. Nice quick play the ball though. Kilby trying to operate down a short side. Surely she hasn't squeezed through that. And they just get the touch in time. She nearly found a way through. Would have been quite a Houdini act. If she could have done so. Draw and pass here from Bridgetine. They've opened up space as well. Opportunity back on the inside. Andretta was also there a little bit later in that right link position, but good metres nonetheless. Andretta now sending it to that left-hand side. Metres still on offer here, and on the follow-up, she receives it. Last play now here for Bridgetine. Draw and pass here for Andrietta or Keo just on the outside, but well recovered in the end from Say Donkin, who made the touch. Good mixture for both sides here of... Year 7 and 8 players, and for Bridgetine, it's worth pointing out, the bulk of the side is from Year 7. I've got another use of the ball here. Pressure coming across there from Kilby, who makes the touch, and then the ball comes spewing out. You'd imagine that would go back to the mark for play the ball. Rolled back. Bassett stepping up to make the touch. Wider still they come. Dropping down Andrietta now on the sweep. Finds a pass out wide, but all marked up. It was very strong defence there from Woolwich. Just under seven minutes remaining in this one. Short pass here for Kacic. Again, easy metres on offer here for Woolwich. So they pick it up and scoot. Shad. Get some good meterage there. Kutchich once more. Shad hopping in an acting half. And now sent off here. All the way to this right-hand side. Running out of real estate on this occasion, though, was Bassett. Drop down. Kilby, the danger woman, once more appearing. Close to that seven-metre mark. Lovely early release. Trying to hop back on the inside, but Andrietta, far too clever for that. Another one of these Roosters players who's been exceptional so far in this game. I drop down. As I may mention before, we're still waiting on the... Updates here for players 12, 13 and 25. So my apologies if you're not hearing your daughter's name called at the moment. Wraparound comes here for Andrietta. Oh, good hands in the end too. Had to twist and turn to reel that one in. Russell did a good job though. For they drive. Last one now. Andrietta provides a short pass. They've got to keep it alive here, Bridgetine. Back to Andrietta. Still stern in defence here and pushing up. Ah, Woolwich, the floating pass. Fooling nobody, especially not, say, Donkin, who jammed in, made the touch. Now Kilby trying to return serve. And look at the speed out wide as well. Great pace shown from Ivy Vella. If they can unleash her a few more times, there'll be trouble here for Bridgetine. Bassett drops it down. Meters again here for Donkin. Delay on the pass. Now Bassett. Bassett getting away from them. Good touch from Andrietta. Shad. Once more bounding around here for Donkin. Donkin crabbing across field. Kilby hops in at acting half. Back towards the middle. Bassett still an option. That's the way it comes. Bassett looming. And then finally finding a pass there for Shad. Last one now. One more to see off for Bridgetine. Wide option here for Kilby. Kilby bouncing around off that left foot. Opens up a bit of space here for Duncan. Oh, but she'd been overrun. Vela was about a metre in front. And as a result, they couldn't possibly link up. Score remains here 3-2.
Time quickly running out as well inside the final five minutes here at Holy Cross Ride. Short ball here. Good metres as well. Flat once more. They drive through the middle. Drop down. And turning to that left-hand side. Last one now here for Brigidine. Opportunity to link up wider still there with Russell, but fought against the past. And now Shad has a chance to return serve here for Woolwich. So decent flow being established from both sides here. They're certainly working their way upfield. It's breaking down a little bit inside that final seven, though. Mara. Kacic. Shad on her hip. Last one here. And it's a strong defensive set from Bridgetine. They only just get into enemy territory. Meters here for Bridgetine. Less than three on the clock. Still a tight score line here. Of course, we do have drop-offs in effect. In that situation, we'll go to a four-on-four four scenario. If there is no try scored after the first two minutes, that then gets stripped down to three-on-three. Three. Last one here, but I believe that might even be a changeover. Initially, I thought it could have potentially gone the way of forceful contact, but that will in fact be the change over here. So Woolwich. One more should do it for them. As the touch is made. Schiacitano. Now Kacic as well, and that is really not what the doctor ordered. Turnover just shy of the halfway mark. This is the opportunity now for Brigidine. Now get a full set from pretty much bang on halfway. Kacic working hard in defence. They really need Andrietta out there, but she's on the bench at the moment. She has been the most dangerous player for Brigidine. They'll drop it down. They haven't gone too far in this set in the first four plays. Last one now. Can they conjure up something at the death here? Dummy comes out. And that will be the changeover. So they just have to hold on from this point here. Woolwich with a minute 15 on the clock. Still a little bit of time here for probably at least half a set for Brigidine. Now play the ball here for Kilby. Now Kutchich. Dropping on the halfway line. Midway through the set. Kilby would love one more try to finish it off. And it might come right here. And now the dummy. And off they go for the prize. All just touched in time. Good recovery from Russell. Mara nearly went all the way. She'll come back to the seven, though. Still a couple of plays up their sleeves. Kilby can finish it here. Touch is made. Last one now. Kilby looking for a hat trick or potentially supplying here. Ball goes to ground. And there's now just 23 seconds left. They'll have time for maybe a few plays. They've hit the deck here. And I don't believe there is any stoppage time, if you will. The clock keeps on ticking down. It's unfortunate for Brigidine. But player safety is, of course, the primary concern here with Sydney Catholic schools. Great to see you back on the feet. And that will do it here. Before the first half, I believe. So 3-2 with a bit of work to do here. For Bridgetine, we'll take a very short break here on Sydney Catholic schools, the Autumn Championships for Touch Football.
not one. Welcome back here for the second half between Bridgetine and Woolwich. Woolwich with a slender lead here, 3-2. It's been a tight contest since the get-go. And we do have quite a few changes as well across the Bridgetine lineup in terms of numbers. It's all a bit of a mismatch at the moment. So 11 was initially named as Sophie Andrietta. That is instead Olivia Keogh wearing the 11. She has had a strong game so far, Olivia Keogh, and also Sophie Keogh is actually wearing the 13. So they head all the way to this left-hand side. Woolwich caught on the last there with Kutchic, and that will be the changeover. So a lot of late jersey changes in this one, but forward now comes Olivia Keogh. Short pass here. And now metres upfield. Millie Scary is actually wearing the 12 as well. Opportunity here, that is Scary. Turning it now out of this right-hand side, just over the top of the approaching support. As a result, ball hitting the deck, and that will be the turnover. So 3-2, Woolwich still in charge here. Just over the halfway point of this match, Kilby driving forward, who's been exceptional in this one. Keo makes the touch. Kilby. Now for Donkin. Nearly getting away from that particular touch on that occasion. It was Charlie Mitchell who made it. Kilby now on the last. Crabbing across field. Still play on. Lovely draw and pass here. Did they get there in time? Yes, I think they did there. Through Sophia Keo. But offside, so we'll come back for the initial indiscretion. Smart run there from Kilby. Directly at an offside player. So now a full set to play with, around about seven metres away from the Bridge Dean line. Kilby bouncing off the right foot, or Kilby trying to squeeze through once again. One of the players called offside, but touch still made there from the saving middle. Kilby sends it wide once again. Kutchic takes the touch. Kilby drawing past. Really trying to operate down a very narrow short side. Bassett now, crabbing across field, drops it down. Donkin on the last. Here comes Kilby with a great ball here for Bassett. The draw and the pass. Lovely hands as well from Shad. <laughs> Terrific try from Woolwich. 4-2. Oh, that was very stylish. Kilby outstanding. We'll have a break off the back of that piece of work. Mara in the action as a result. Olivia Keogh now hopping in an acting half. Short pass provided here for Sister Sophia. 
Now back towards the middle. Once more, Sherry. And this one will be a turnover here. Bassett trying to get underway quickly. It's of course for Bridgetine. Two number 13s playing out there today. Sophia Keogh and also Charlie Mitchell. They're also both wearing those blue or teal boots. So it can be a little bit confusing there, but Sophia Keogh does have the dual plats, I believe, and typically playing out there in the wing. That's her now making the touch. Donkin now brings it forward. Donkin putting the foot down has opened up half an opportunity here for Shad. And at 4 2, Bridgetine would need to be next to score, you feel, just to keep that pressure applied on Woolwich. Draw and pass here from Millie Scary. She's actually been picked as part of the Sydney Catholic School's touch team. So too is Charlie Mitchell for Bridgetine. That's Scary. Scary once more on the drive forward. The dummy and now puts on the afterburner. Scary linking up here with Olivia Keogh. And that was play on. I think Keo might have been a little bit confused about one of the calls from the referees there. She stopped for a moment before passing. Ultimately it goes to ground though. And good to see as well. Schiacciatano is back out there as Kilby splits them right through the middle. Good speed from Kendall Kilby. Two tries already in this one. Schiacciatano. Slowing her down. Now Kilby pops a pass for her once again. Schiacciatano diving from a great distance. And I think she's got there as well. What an effort from Schiacciatano. Outstanding from Allegra. Schiacciatano. It's a good five metres on the dive. And that opens up quite a nice little advantage now. 5-2. So work to do here for Bridgetine. Scary. Hopping in an acting half. Sends it out wide now. For Sophie Andrietta. She's wearing the 25. Was named in the 11. Make no mistake, that is her out there in the 25 and now with possession. Andrietta drops it down. Last play now here for them. Turning it back towards the middle. It's alive. Andrietta, beautiful pass. An opportunity just one more wide and they potentially would have got around the outside of Shad, but the sliding defence was excellent from Woolwich. And they've really hit their stride in this second half. Two additional tries. No breach of their own line as of yet. Schiacciatano once more picks up good metres here. Duncan driving forward. Schiacciatano popping it here for Kilby. Kilby on the run and easy metres on off a big dummy and the step as well. Oh, Kilby toying with them out there. Duncan. Well, potentially she just had to put the foot down. I think that's what Kilby's saying as well. The arms have come out. There was room to move. Perhaps just like to see Donkin back herself in a situation like that. Good metres here on the run. That was Sophia Kia. Scary. Slowly bring it towards the line. Andrietta for Scary. Charlie Mitchell now hopping in an acting half. Last play here. Mitchell on the run, driving forward. Clever play there from Mitchell. Ran directly at the offside, Schiacciatano. They'll get another set to play with now. Around about 15 metres away from the line. Scary. Flat pass and now once more back to Scary there. Charlie Mitchell was... Driving forward hard towards the line. Scary. Mitchell once more. Mitchell drops it down, receives it back here. They've stacked that short side. 
They slid across well once more and applied enough pressure. And that will be the turnover once again. So they need points on the board here. Brigidine. Still plenty of time in terms of touch footy. They'd like to be next to score, though. Kilby. Driving forward and now short pass provided for Head. Head picks up some good metres there. Kilby again off the left and the right. Kacic. Kilby. Kacic once more. Kilby picks up. Nice little scoop. Draw and pass and just can't unleash Mara on that occasion. We're now inside the final 10 minutes of this one. So the margin at three, 5-2 here in favour of Woolwich over Brigidine. Andrietta brings it forward. Now Olivia Keogh, that long stride, picks up easy metres. Last play now here for Brigidine. Mitchell out wide for Andrietta. The draw and pass is nice here from Brigidine, but no way around Mara. Very quick customer out there. So too is Vela. Bassett. Kilby. Crabbing across field. Linking up here. Touch is made. On occasion, Chloe Mission. Kilby now driving forward. Oh, Kilby splits them. Puts on the afterburners. Kilby called back here for a forward pass. And that would have been quite the hat-trick for Kendall Kilby. Instead, they'll come all the way back. So 5-2 the score. Keo comes forward. Around about six and a half minutes remaining. And that won't help the cause here for Brigidine. Another turnover here. They've yet to trouble the scoreboard in the second half. Says easy metres picked up there from Michaela Shad. One try for her so far today. Bassett for Donkin. Touch made there from Krenmeyer. Mission also involved. Now Kucic drops it down. Last play here. Bassett picking it up. Having a crack at the line, the draw and the pass, throwing it over the top. Lovely ball. Now was the pass completed before the touch? No, it is going to be called as a touch pass. So there is the turnover. It was a very tight affair. Well refereed from our officials out there. So now the touch is made there from Bassett. Meters on off once more here for Keo. Driving forward, Bassett up to meet her. Andrietta now. Andrietta putting the foot down, picks up 15 or so. And forceful touch against, I believe that might be Kacic. This time, certainly no forceful touch. It was very light on the follow up. Draw and pass here, and now they'll try and get down an impossible short side there. Good speed. On display there from Sophia Keo. Now Olivia. Charlie Mitchell. Mitchell the draw pass. Oh, I was building there nicely for Andrietta. Had she been able to tip it on, it would have been a one on one situation and Best Woman wins. Bassett. Out for the run here of Shad. Bassett and then have a look at the speed here on Vela. Takes off. Incredible pace about her work. Bassett. Couple of dummies. Then floating it over here for Kacic. Off the right foot. Evading the first touch. Keo makes the contact. Now Duncan driving forward. Bassett with a backpedaling defensive line. That one goes to ground. And an opportunity goes begging. So five minutes, 59 seconds on the clock here at Holy Cross Ride. Sydney Catholic School's Autumn Championships for Touch Football. This is the Junior Girls Touch Football. Bridgetine 
leaving possession behind and needing a try here. They're down 5-2 against Woolwich. You'd have to imagine one more would certainly put this one beyond doubt for them. Duncan. Bassett now. Bassett driving forward. Lovely delay on the pass. Finds an opportunity here for Shad, who collects a second. In fact, no, this one's going to be called back as well. Touch just in time. Still, they look for that killer blow. Duncan caught here by Keo. Back into the seven meter mark they come now. Bassett again. Second time the charm potentially. No caught once more here. Last one now. A static start to close out this set. Bassett will crab a cross field. Couple of dummies and then caught. That'll be the changeover. Well, they must get a result from this set. With four and a half remaining. Keo thought she was away for a moment. Donkin did a good job just to get a fingertip to her. Keo, short pass here for Mitchell. Last one now. And they've completely lost their bearings on that set. And they'll turn it over quite meekly here. Not away from the subs box and... Also not really throwing any shots at them. Alexis Head. Kilby. Short ball here for Mara. All the weapons out there at once now. Shad with ball in hand. Kilby, of course, the real danger woman here. She's had her fingerprints on everything. Mara. Drops it down. Last play here for Kilby. Kilby looking to finish in style. Floating a pass over the top in between Link and Wing, though. And the door still ajar. If closing more and more quickly. Three and a half on the clock. Time enough if they're good enough here, Bridgetine. Keo. Driving forward now. Keo once again. Short pass here. Last play now. They must get something out of it. Here they come, putting the foot down. All oh, the afterburners came out there from Sophia Keo. Just caught in the end, though. Touch is called. That will be the changeover. So that'll do it here for Woolwich. The clock will beat Bridgetine. Been a terrific performance thus far. From the Woolwich girls as now Schiacciatano comes forward and they've got a nice roll on in this set too. Kilby brings it right to the line. And then for Kucic. No real urgency about the play. Simply completing their sets at this point in time. Last one here. Kilby takes off though. She's always scheming. Oh, the draw and the pass provided half an opportunity there for Allegra Schiacciatano. Unable to get hands on it though. So 2.10 on the clock. Mara makes the touch. Keo. Now meters on offer here for Leary. Keo. Scary. Keo once more. Easy metres. Last play now for Olivia Keo. Keo turns it back on the inside. Was it touched in flight? I'm going to say not played at. Instead, the arm was there simply trying to make the touch according to the officials. So with around about 90 seconds left, it's a win in the bag here for Woolwich. And now Shad takes off. Going to have to be very quick to get around Keo though. Certainly has wheels. And did enough there to reel her in. Kilby back towards the middle. Schiacciatano. Caught now as Donkin comes in for one final effort here. Back onto the field. Last play. Kilby wrapping around on that left-hand side. Draw here from Schiacciatano. But no pass. Out of acting half. And on the last, a changeover either way you look at it. Inside the final minute here at Holy Cross Ride. Scary. Brings it forward. 
Keo caught on that occasion. Been a good running battle between Keo and Shad in this match. Scary tries to split them. Back onto the mark she goes. Midway through the count. 30 seconds remaining here. Keo. Lovely delay on the pass. And now Scary back to Keo. That's enterprising play. Keo takes off. Oh, it's going to be a real ripper to finish here. Keo puts the foot down. Terrific play up through the middle between Scary and Keo. It's going to be a little bit too late, unfortunately. 5-3 with five seconds on the clock. But that will give them a little bit of confidence moving into their next match here, Bridgetine. But at full time, it is Woolwich, Maris Sisters College, five. Ranwick, Bridgetine College, three. Quality performance. And our next match not too far away, right here for Sydney Catholic Schools, the Sydney Autumn Championships Touch Football.
Well, very good morning. Welcome back here to the Sydney Catholic Schools Autumn Championships for Touch Football. Holy Cross Ride, the home side, taking on nearby neighbours. Five Dock in this one. Rosebank College, it will be Holy Cross with first use of the ball. Immediately they head wide and they really try and put the foot down nice and early here. Ride once more, shifting out to this right-hand side. Rach out there in that left link position. Now for Custo. Custo drops it down. Rach sweeping around. Here is Rach at full speed. Trying to promote the pass there. Meekly off it away. I think they were trying to play for the extra set there in terms of uh, contested possession. But certainly not the case from Rosebank there. Nice quick play the balls. They pick up more metres here. Run coming out there from Pete. Now Vlako Kyriakos. Touch is made there, and the turnover comes against Cruz Carroll. Quick play the ball as Rach once more goes at full speed here. Good metres on offer. Another strong run on this occasion from Fotheringham. Drop down. Again, having a crack at the miss, Custo. Custo looks to split them right through the middle and does exactly that. Try time for Holy Cross Ride. So just a couple of sets. And Rosebank Wilt. And Holy Cross Ride are on the board here. Very early on in the piece. Of course, 20-minute halves. But lovely play there from Finn Custo and also brother Isaac. So the Custo boys certainly ones to watch here. It's now Rosebank with the chance to get one back of their own here. Pete hanging out wide. Now Flacco Kyriakos. Touch is made. Vlako Kyriakos again looming in support. All the dummy comes out nearly all the way through. They were watchful though. Now Ride picking up metres here, up towards halfway. Short pass provided. Vlako Kyriakos working hard for Rosebank. Nice quick roll ball. I'll try and get away. Turning it back on the inside. But good pressure here from the five dock outfit. Really stepping up and applying the pressure here. Flacco Kyriakos off the left foot. Meters once more turned back on the inside from Carroll. Again, Vlaka Kyriakos heavily involved so far. Trying to get around the outside. Touch is made. Last one here. Couple of dummies and unable to squeeze through there was Lang. He'll go back to the mark. But that will be the changeover. So score remains at one try to nil here in favour of Holy Cross Wright. And good metres on offer here on play number two as well. Fotheringham now driving forward. These roll balls are really killing Five Dock at the moment. Easy metres upfield. Kilby, whose sister Kendall was exceptional in our first match of the day. Kilby still there as an option, trying to get around the outside and once more is caught. Laka Kyriakos again. So busy both sides of the ball. So to the work from Cruz Carroll. Those two have been working very much in tandem in this opening few minutes. Comes out now for Carroll. Bouncing off that left foot and then trying to dart away from them. Good speed. Nice change of pace. Touch is made. Carroll comes forward. They've lost track of the touch count on that occasion. Change over once more. It was Isaac Lang who was caught on that occasion. Canaan. Now an option back to the middle. Canaan's going to get away from them. Lovely play from Holy Cross. A nice piece of deception and then sending it wide. Canaan on the follow-up back through the middle. And they're going to call it forward. So we'll come right back to the mark.
Well, there's a bit of confusion here, but I think it has been called for it. I'll certainly give you an update at half time, though. Short pass and now fired away here for Cruz Carroll. Wrapping around is Marshall. Marshall back to Vlaka Kiriakos. Vlaka Kiriakos again, the dummy in delay. Marshall tried to get the flick out. And that's a real dog's breakfast here from Ride. Going to ground and play one. So the best opportunity of the match now for points here for Rosebank College from Five Dock. Flacca Kiriakos steaming in to make the touch there. Strong work from Finn Custo. One try himself already. Carroll. Looming as an option. So too is Lang. Lang with the ball at the moment. Stepping off the right foot. Plays it inside the seven. Oh, way too close to the defensive line. It's always a risky option playing it inside the seven, especially when you're under that kind of pressure. Custo. Now Kanan again, driving forward. So too Fotheringham. Drawing the passes. Isaac Custer nearly gets away from them. Finn in an acting half. Now Fotheringham. Drops it down. Isaac. Finn, an acting half once more. Stopping on the run. Turns it back here for Isaac. Out there for Fotheringham. And nearly a trick catch on that occasion from Finn Custo. This came spewing out of the hands and couldn't reel it back in. And that one will also go to ground here for Rosebank College. Another opportunity now for Holy Cross Ride. Still waiting on confirmation as to that previous try. Suggestions it was called forward, so likely only the one try at the moment for Holy Cross Ride. Drop down, Isaac now for Finn. Finn takes off, oh, beautiful dart. Bounding off the right foot, stepped away and just opened up half a yard of pace and he was too quick from that point onwards. There's another one for Holy Cross Ride, 2-0. So the Casto boys have been on fire in this one. They've treated the Rosebank defence like Custard. So restarted here from Lang. Short pass here for Portelli. Portelli providing it out to that right link position. The run there of Vardanagar. Nowhere to go out on that right-hand side, though. Back to Vardanagar. He crabs towards the middle. Plays it now, seven away. Last one here. Bit of a static start. Floating a pass over the top. Very well read from out wide, though. Terrific, terrific start from Tyson Lawrence, who jammed in from the wing. Shut it down. Now here comes the dummy, and away they go. Late pass here. Touch came just in time. Now, typically you see that called as a touch pass, and there it is. Good officiating there. Kanan once more denied. He's been unlucky twice now, Jared. So they keep inviting Rosebank College into this danger zone. Portelli now will try and make them pay. He rolls it here on that seven metre mark. Picked up here from Lang. Lang trying to get away from them. Couple of big steps. Nearly did enough. Dancing in traffic, but ultimately the changeover will come. Kanan once more caught on this occasion. Kilby. Kanan right on the advantage line. Sloppy play the ball, let go though. Kilby drops it down. Last one now here for Ride. Couple of dummies, Kanan, quick hands, beautiful pass. It's all backwards, outstanding. And Lawrence capitalises here for Holy Cross Ride. 3-0 to the home side who are humming along beautifully like a well-oiled machine. 
Coach Jenna Belcastro has done a terrific job with this side. They definitely look well tuned. Lawrence, the recipient on that occasion. Some work to do here for Rosebank College from Five Dock. Portelli and now Cruz Carroll. Portelli turns it back to that right hand side. Haven't seen too much more of Laka Kyriakos outside of the opening exchanges, but he was looking dangerous for them. McKenzie floats it to the middle for Portelli. Now Vardenega. Vardenega floating a pass right into the hands of Holy Cross Wright. So that will be a zero touch with the intercept. Custo plays it quickly and now Fotheringham so they charge forward, here's Isaac Custo drops it down, Finn scoops it up with the one hand, they've really got them backpedalling here, Custo sends it out now but they'll slow it down momentarily, Isaac Finn hopping in at acting half they sweep around, numbers in motion they won't need to use Fotheringham the big dummy comes out and it's another try here for Holy Cross Ride who have really started to hit their stride and they're flexing their muscle on their nearby neighbours. It's a terrific play there from the Holy Cross outfit. There's Noah Iongi who went over for them. I believe he might even be the younger brother of Isaiah Iongi. He's doing some great things for the Penrith Panthers in the New South Wales Cup at the moment. It's a wonderful breeding ground for rugby league talent touch football, especially through terrific systems such as Sydney Catholic Schools. Hope you're enjoying all the action today. Flacco Kiriakos back out there now, all nearly pushing through the middle. Finn Custer got there in time. Options on this left-hand side. They'll bounce around, but once more, Finn Custo all over it. Multiple touches made. And time beginning to run out in the first half here at Holy Cross College in Ride. Brother Benedict Olsen Oval. About seven and a half minutes left in this first stanza. It's four tries to nil. A lot of ground to make up here for Rosebank College out of five dog. Last one now here for them. They drive forward under pressure on that occasion. And they'll get an extra set to work with though. They're playing advantage. It was a little fingertip that got to the ball in flight. And that's why it hit the deck. Kilby. Drops it down now. Rapina Dunn. Out there as well. A lot of these names you... Would have heard floating about for the Junior State Cups. Oh, good touch made in the end from Flaka Kyriakos. Rapina Dunn. Sending here for Kilby. Sweeping around. Now here they come once more. Holy Cross right. Trying to really use their speed. Great touch made in the end though. In fact, no. The honesty comes out. Carroll says I didn't get to him. There's a fifth try now for Holy Cross College Ride. 5 0. Well, they certainly aren't one of the sides to beat in this tournament. This performance looks to be booking them a place in the grand final. Of course, semi final action here on our far side of the field. I believe that might be. Fairfield taking on Carring Bar out there. Blacker Kyriakos now. Hopping in an acting half. Retreating defensive line. Trying to get around the outside of the pressure there from Custo and Kilby. Ultimately draws an extra set here out of Holy Cross College ride. So back to the seven they come now. Ball turned here for Lang. Slowing down the play for just a moment. Flacco Kyriakos again running directly at them. Kilby steps up to make the touch. Back to that seven metre mark they go. Concentrated on this right hand side at the moment. 
Real mesh of bodies. Flacca Kiriakos all just tried to get the final pass on. It's a try gone begging. It was touched in flight, but there's no attempt to play out the ball. And now there's an opportunity for a counter-attack here as they set sail down the sideline. They'll pop a ball back towards the middle. This time it might be on for Rapina Dunn. Still alive here. The dummy comes out. Crossfield pass. Oh, lovely touch in the end. Just made from Archie Marshall. But it was nearly a 70-metre effort. Once more, they'll operate down a short side. Beautiful diving effort. And Donkin, has he done enough? No, just caught in flight. Score remains 5-0. Kilby bouncing around. The wraparound comes at speed once again. Oh, too much pace from Luca Rach. They might have just got him right at the death. Certainly beat the first attempt, though, of Carroll. Saving effort from the wing. Kilby back to the middle now. Ushering more players underneath. Kilby here on the last. Floats a pass. Then basketball style over the top. It was forward anyway. Well, Holy Cross really showing off on that last set. So many dangerous weapons in their arsenal. Carroll now brings it forward. Vlaka Kiriakos. Picked up and scooted. Vlaka Kiriakos was the intended recipient, but up they stepped. I think it might have been Kilby who got in the path of it, took the intercept. Now here is Kilby on the dummy, and Kilby, a clean pair of heels. They're not going to catch him. Jay Kilby. Bouncing around, dancing like John Travolta, and finds a way all the way through to the defensive line and across the try line. A 6-1 here for Holy Cross. Well, certainly not for a lack of effort here. For Rosebank College from Five Dock. Holy Cross have just been a class above thus far. You'd have to imagine for Rosebank College, they'd be hoping for that half time whistle to go. Just try and recalibrate things a little bit. So laying back onto the mark now to restart this set. Touch is made from Isaac Custo. Finn now also stepping up. Here they come once more. Finn on the spot, though, makes the touch. McKenzie, short ball here for Lang. Lang once more under pressure, this time caught from Isaac Custo. McKenzie, nowhere to go. Last play here, and they really haven't troubled the Holy Cross line at all in this set. Lang turns it back onto that left-hand side. McKenzie once more rounded up, turned away. And that impenetrable wall of defence from Holy Cross continues to hold firm. Very sloppy attempt to play the ball. Now, a little opening right at the end of this first half here. So under 90 seconds remaining in this first half of footy. Now roll it back. Carroll, Lang, and now Marshall. Great footwork here from Lang. Oh, no, just caught in time. Certainly thought he was off for the prize. Lang drops it down on the seven. Once more an option on that right-hand side. They'll turn back to the left. Marshall with good footwork. So too McKenzie. McKenzie is caught there. That was the last. That will be the changeover. And we're just 45 seconds away from half time. In fact, no, there's still a little bit more action here for Rosebank College from Five Dock. Marshall. Shown for Lang. McKenzie. Fotheringham. And now that is the changeover. So they got their bearings a little wrong there on that set. And now easy metres here for Isaac Custo. Pete eventually making the touch as Kanan comes out with it. Metres here as touch is made from Lang. Kanan. 
Kilby at that right link position. Thought it was time for him to explode. Kanam will get away from them momentarily. There is the touch, though, and there is the siren. So half time here. A lot of work to do for Rosebank College from Five Dock. Holy Cross College ride. Well and truly in control at the break here at Holy Cross College. It's 6 0. Welcome back here to Holy Cross College Ride. Brother Benedict Olsen Oval. It's the intermediate boys category for the Sydney Autumn Championships. A touch football for Sydney Catholic schools. A lot of work to do here for Rosebank College out of five dock. They trail 6 0. They will get first use of possession here. Early on in the set, working down towards the line of Holy Cross Ride. Laco Kyriakos. It's looked dangerous for them so far. Bouncing around here. Still yet to trouble the scorer's sheet, though. So they have a dive from distance. Now, was there a touch made in time? No, there was not. So they do get through here. They're on the board now through Archie Marshall, who went directly at what he believed to be an offside player in the form of Luca Rach, and gets rewarded as a result. So Archie Marshall on the board here. First set, first try. 6-1 though. Holy Cross still well and truly in control of this one. The draw and pass comes out now. Kilby threatening to get away from them. A touch made there from Isaac Lang. Rapina Dunn. Rapina Dunn once more driving at them. Luca Rach also offering an option there deep. Still alive here for Rapina Dunn. He's doing his best Benji Marshall impersonation there for a moment. Impossible to get a hand on. 
Sending it away here to the middle, Kanan. Now Kilby, oh, bouncing off the right foot and then getting to ground very quickly. Kilby with an outstanding dive at the line. It's another try here for Kilby. 7-1, so troubles continue in this second half here for Rosebank College. As I was mentioning in the first half, though, there's a lot of these names, especially from the Holy Cross College side, that we've seen at those junior representative levels, whether it be in the State Cup or the Sydney Championships. Certainly some very quality players on deck here. So always going to be a tough task for Rosebank College out of five dot, but they're making a good fist of things here to start this second half. Nearly getting away there was Cruz Carroll. Back to the seven he goes. Marshall for Lang. Pressured here from Custo. That will be the changeover. Very warm conditions today as well here. That ride. Meters on offer. Quick play the ball too and then not clearing through the ruck correctly. Hongi as a result draws the foul. Another set to play with here for Holy Cross College ride. Custo. Now Isaac and then back to brother Finn Custo once again. Dummy in a couple of times. Frotheringham appeared late in the piece in that link position. Pops a little pass here for Finn and now to Isaac. Finn once more. Touch is made from Lang. Concerted approach in this set thus far. Now they'll look to explode on this occasion. Isaac Custo, way too quick. Gets around the link. Cruz Carroll left clutching at thin air. It's a wonderful builded set. Plenty of patience and resolve about things. Waiting for the right time to strike and then exploding. So 7-1 now. In fact, I should say 8-1. Change being made here as well for Rosebank College. Back into the action comes Archer McKenzie. Lang. And the call coming from the coach's box there is to just simply drive forward. Play direct, play straight. Drop down now for Lang. Lang contacting Custo. On the last, there is the changeover. And 8-1, the score remains. Touch made there from William Went. Kanan for Rapina Dunn. Kanan with the dummy once again. Slow it down here. Rapina Dunn now gets the nice quick roll ball. One-handed scoop from Kanan. Rapina Dunn there in support. Lovely cutout pass. For the corner and try time once again. Holy Cross College ride flexing their muscle. Rapina Dunn and Kanan outstanding back to back plays. Ripped apart the Rosebank College defense. 9 1 now. Try coming through. Billy Donkin. So plays locally with the right Eastwood Hawks over the weekend. Now Lang. Portelli. In an acting half once more. Out it comes for Fadenega. Portelli. Lang. Slowing it down here. Last play now. Lang has a crack at them himself. And I think he might have squeezed all the way through. No, just touched in time. Very close run thing, though. Worth the effort there from Lang. But now they've got to switch on in defence, and Kanan gets easy metres all the way through. Well, they're not going to catch him. This time he won't be denied. Kanan will go pretty much the length of the field. 
He's been called back multiple times, but they can't take that one off him. And they hit double digits here, Holy Cross College ride. Jared Kanan, great speed from the year 10 product. Like a Kyriakos now, draw and pass. And providing short here for Portelli, who steps off the left foot. Vardenega. Drops it just on that seven metre mark. Now Vlaka Kyriakos back for Vardenega under pressure and spills the pass. Metres on offer once again here for Ride. Kanan driving hard and then heading straight to the sideline. Fresh troops onto the pitch now. The Custo brothers are out there. Fotheringham drops it down. Like for like replacement with Kanan. Drives very strongly. Now Custo at the line. Quickly fothering him. There he is on the spot. And they've really hit their strides now. 11 1. Holy Cross College right over five, Doc. And you have to wonder can anyone stop them? Such a well oiled machine. They're going to be very tough to take the trophy off them once we get into our grand finals a little bit later today. Still done a terrific job to get to this point in the competition, though. Rosebank College from five, Doc, all the way here to the semi final. Now, Vlaka Kyriakos drops it down, operating on this right hand side exclusively so far in the first few plays of this set. Vlaka Kyriakos making contact there with Vardenega, his own teammate, and as a result, hits the deck. Carroll driving forward. Last play and a bit of a mess of a set there from Rosebank College. They'll turn it over once more, and they're just being frustrated by the pressure in defence of Holy Cross. They've been extremely strong both sides of the ball. Now roll it nice and quick here. That ball just out in front, though, of the run there of Isaac Custo. He goes to ground. Laka Kyriakos now. Up onto the mark. Offering it here for William Went. And fresh troops on the field as well. Laka Kyriakos still leading the charge though. Carroll out here for Archie Marshall, their sole try scorer thus far. Marshall. Very cautious approach. Now Vlaka Kyriakos wrapping around was Carroll. Well read though once again from Holy Cross. Marshall. Bounding off that left foot. Now Vlaka Kyriakos picks up and has a scoot. Has to release from dummy half of course. Carroll. Marshall, Vlaka Kyriakos diving from distance. Good touch made, though, from Kanan. Last one here. Seven away and a static start to work with. Carroll dropping a little pass there for Marshall, who is wrapping around. They've done enough, though, to earn another set offside. <laughs> Carroll wanting them to be pinged and sent to the bin for it. He held up the ten fingers, Vlaka Kyriakos. Now at the line. Marshall. Instruction is head to the middle from the coaching staff here. From Jason Amos. Marshall. Vlaka Kyriakos. Threatening to release here. Here's the penalty, so that's a second one now. Three will result in someone being sat down. 
In fact, there is the third. I think Kanaan might have been sent behind the line. Once more, they'll operate down a short side here through Pete. And nothing happening on that occasion. Kanaan now with a short pass back on the inside for Kanaan. Delay on the pass there. And that's actually a one-on-one -on -one steal, which, of course, you can't do in touch footy. He was hoping for the intercept there, Vlako Kyriakos, but according to him, close enough, good enough. Come back onto the mark there, though, for the initial touch. Pina Dunn and the Yongi. Threatening out there. Kanan. Yongi. Rolls it back quickly. Now Kanan. Oh, knocked down from Carroll. It was a play that had to be made. Well read from Carroll. It's three on two out wide. That worked the numbers nicely there, Holy Cross. Kanan. He's largely been operating as a link so far in this match. Now shifting to the middle. Wrapping around. Here comes Kanan again. Looking long. All the pass just above Kilby. Tough one to take. Goes to ground. And Rosebank College survive on this occasion. Less than seven minutes remaining though. Already a big margin. 11-1 the score here as part of the Sydney Autumn Championships for the Sydney Catholic Schools Touch Football Finals Day. Hope you're enjoying all the action. Marshall comes forward. Now Carroll with a dummy. Marshall. Vlako Kyriakos. And there's another penalty going the way of Rosebank College. False start here for William Went. Went comes forward and there's a bit of a challenge there from Kanaan from the Holy Cross College side. It was instructing him to tap the ball and get on with things. Went was, however, waiting for the officials' call. Kanaan is hungry for more tries. Marshall. Now for Carroll. And back for Marshall once again. Slow build up here from Rosebank College. Now looking to explode through Lang, who dies from distance and gets a second try. Beautiful outstretched effort there from Isaac Lang. A second on the board here. For Rosebank College from five, Doc. 11 2. The last few sets, they have turned them away. And that is a very well-deserved reward. Next time they're downfield, they do get the try. Touch is made. Now Marshall. Custo. Finn, that is. Brother Isaac there in the blue boots. Isaac to Finn once more. Finn has a little crack at the Marshall, though. Made the touch. He was called offside, though. So they'll play through. And there's another one here for Holy Cross College Ride. 12-2. Marshall was standing there saying, I caught him, but the referees ruled him to be offside. Of course, you have to have both feet either on or behind the line. I think they're spot on with that call. Meters here for Lang, who's got their most recent try for Rosebank College. Now they're for Marshall. Those are the two try scorers here for Rosebank College. Inside the final four minutes now. Dummy comes out from Lang. Well read, though, from Isaac Custo. And that will be the change over here. So Holy Cross with another chance to go, potentially the length of the field. They've certainly been in a mood so far in this semi final.
Cousteau. Now Finn Cousteau. Luca Rach. Rach driving forward. Potentially thought Lang might have been offside there. He ran directly at him. Last play now. And they won't get a nice quick roll ball. So no strike dump to work with. Short pass here as they crab across field. Marshall makes the touch. Good defensive effort from him. Now Vardenega. Vardenega hopping in and acting half once more. Before they drive through, went. Vardenega. Lang. Wider still they come now through Archer McKenzie. McKenzie, good metres here, weaving in traffic. Back onto the mark to play it now. No one really there in support, though, for him. Carroll drops it down. Here is the last now. Lang stepping off the right foot. Lang keeps it alive. Oh, it was building for Rosebank College. The pass just above the outstretched arms there of Archer McKenzie. If he was able to get the bat on, he had an unmarked winger, but it was a tough one to deal with. Custo now brings it forward. Lawrence working hard out of acting half. Rapina Dunn back out there now after a decent little break on the sidelines. Iongi. Gold's also there, but he won't get a chance to show us what he can do. That is the changeover now. Kanana's hopped out on this left hand wing now, so he's played. Link middle and now wing. Very versatile player, Jared Kennard. Less than two minutes remaining here. So grand final bound. Our rider now Kennard takes it with one hand, pops it back on the inside. Did they get the touch in time? No, they didn't. And enough work done there from Kennard and Rapina Dunn. And he could have scored it himself there, Kanan, but wanted to get Rapina done on the board. And that is now 13-2 for Holy Cross College Ride. Well, it's a frighteningly good performance here. It's going to take a big effort to overcome them in the grand final. Hats off as well to Rosebank College, they haven't stopped trying at any point in time in this game and of course the two tries here in the second half, so improvements throughout. Short pass here for Lang. Lang collapsing beautifully before the line. Did he manage to evade the touch? No, they just got him in time. Last one now for them. This is likely their final play as well. Holy Cross likely to finish with the ball. Vlaka Kiriakos sends it long over the top. They've beaten the winger. There's a chance to pop it back on the inside there, but they shut down the opportunity very quickly. And now here come Ryde. Oh, just a touch in flight. Needed to be made. So there's about seven seconds remaining. They'll get one more chance here to put points on the board. Holy Cross College Ride floating it over the top. Touch is made. There goes the siren. That'll be all she wrote. And Holy Cross College march forward one closer towards Silverware. At full time here at Brother Benedict Olsen Oval in Holy Cross College ride. It is the home side with a dominant performance, 13-2 over Five Dock Rosebank College.
the hat. Legend. Thanks, Pete. Oh, thanks, man. Um, oh, wow. I've, I've already got some some water. That's chicken and lettuce and mayo That's and stuff. That's good, It's not bad at all. Yeah, they had a, um, a pretty impressive garden there. Yeah. Mm. The uh, traffic is not bad.
Good when you are. Yep. And three, two, one. Welcome back here to Holy Cross College Ride, Brother Benedict Olsen Oval. The Sydney Autumn Championships for Touch Football, Sydney Catholic Schools. James Preston with you for all the action here. Semi-final time for the Senior Girls Touch Footy Division. It'll be Randwick Bridgetine College to get first use of the ball up against Woolwich Marist Sisters College. Grand final place on the line. And based on what we have seen so far with multiple issues of these two sides clashing in the semi-finals, Woolwich have got the bragging rights so far, but might be a little bit different here for the senior girls team and for Bridgetine, it's worth mentioning as well, the entire squad made up of year 11 players. So no year 12s in the team. Whilst for Woolwich, just the three year 11 players in the squad. 20-minute halves, of course, 40-minute matches. And if it is needed, a drop-off period at full time. We'll drop from six down to four. And if we are still locked up after two minutes of play... Then drop down to three until the try is scored. So we haven't seen that as of yet. The previous result was pretty much a one-sided affair in favour of Holy Cross over Rosebank College, 13-2. to two. But we're underway here now for Bridgetine with first use of possession. Now head out to this wide side of the field now. On the run there. Back toward the middle. Passing here for Slattery. Slattery drops it down. And turns it back to this right-hand side. Morrison. Morrison receives a short one here from Slattery. Around about eight metres away. Morrison dummying it a couple of times. Back to Slattery at the moment. It's the Morrison-Slattery show here. Last one now. Drawing past Slattery. Caught and then flinging the ball away. That'll be a touch pass. And there is the turnover. So first assignment dealt with here from Woolwich. They play it nice and quickly now. Up towards halfway and a good roll on as well. Easy metres for the taking. So they come charging onto it here. A strong run from Kaina. Quick roll ball as well. Fay here. Fay here once more. Having a little look at them. Lovely delay on the pass there for Kaina. Getting close to the line. But Bridgetine do enough on this occasion. So well dealt with in defence from the Ramwick girls. So they come forward now. Touch is made up through the middle. That's Fahir again. And forceful contact is the call. So another set to work with here as Norbury gets them going in the right direction. Rolls it back quickly. Now Slattery again. Norbury in an acting half. Short pass here for Morrison. Picks up a good five or six metres. Heading out towards the right-hand side of the field and then changing the emphasis back towards the middle. Slattery for Morrison. Very sideways at the moment here. Drawing for the penalty for the offside and they do get it here, Bridgetine. So full set to work with. Still locked up here. Nil-nil the score. Bouncing around momentarily there is McGrail. Morrison. Slattery. Slowing things down. A concerted approach here from Bridgetine. Once more to this right-hand side. They haven't looked too much to the left as of yet. Touches made midway through the count. Slattery once more. In control. Morrison drops it. Now they look to launch a raid here. Slattery with a couple of dummies. Running out of real estate. Back to Morrison. On the last now, they'll head to this right-hand side once more. Slattery look to turn it back to the inside. They're up quickly in defence, though, Woolwich, and shut it down. So still level here. Pretty early on in the piece at Brother Benedict Olsen Oval. Touches made. 
Strong charge, though, nonetheless, from Southcombe. And now they're away for them here. Here comes the run of Kiner. Kiner's going to go all the way to the line. And that will be first points on the board for Morris College Woolwich. So Katie Kiner gets them on the board. One try to nil. And it came a little bit out of nowhere too. They were holding reasonably stern defensively. A slight opportunity and kind of had more than enough speed to make full advantage of things. Slattery now. On the charge. Short pass there. It's going to be called back, though, for touch pass. And so with a one-try advantage, they've now got decent field position to start this set. Play number one, just shy of the halfway mark. And now backpedalling already here are uh, Bridgetine. In fact, they'll go all the way through here. Far too easy for Leah Russell. All she did was run straight, and it parted like the Great Sea. I know Easter wasn't too long ago, but that was straight out of the Moses playbook. So, 2 nil here. So, Bridgetine now. With work to do, trailing 2 nil. Made a strong start, but the last few sets have left a little to be desired as Nathaniel is out there now for them. Hopping in an acting half here. Nathaniel sends it out to this left-hand side, holding the ball in one arm. That was McGrail. Nathaniel shifts it on. Very lateral at the moment. No one really going forward here for Bridgetine. So 2-0, the score remains. They operate down this right-hand side of the field here. Good metres up for grabs once more. Very flat pass right at the advantage line for Kelly. In fact, more than flat, it's gone forward out of acting half. The officials alert to it. False start, and now Holly Brown getting us back underway. Played here from Morrison. Nathaniel. Morrison once again. Got a late release there back to Nathaniel as they head out to this right-hand side. Touch made. Two more plays down inside the seven. This will be the last now. They won't have a strike dump to work with, though. Nathaniel pops it to this left-hand side. Morrison bouncing off the left foot, then turning to the right-hand side. That goes to ground, though, for Leary. So they're just being pressured relentlessly here with this up-and-in defensive style from Woolwich, causing a few problems for Bridgetine. And now here they come on the attack again. Lovely delay on the ball. A little bit behind the run there of Russo. Russo trying to get away. Great cover defence, though, from Nathaniel. Just got a touch in time. They'll head back toward the middle now. Fahir drops it down. Still an option there. They'll go for the bullet pass out wide. What a ball that is from Barnett, who shot it out of a cannon. But it has gone forward, though. So close to being a try. Barnett sh certainly showing her wares. Short pass now and four. They drive here. Bridgetine through Nathaniel. Nathaniel drops it down just shy of that halfway line. And now they cross the threshold. Nathaniel crabbing back towards the middle. Caught there from Fay here. Nathaniel receives it right at the line. No strike dump to work with once more, though. Last play here for Bridgetine. And a pass that leaves plenty to be desired. A tough one to take there. For McGrail. So 2-0 the score. Woolwich certainly have had the better of the play so far. Mara Sisters. 
Barnett once more firing a pass to the middle. This one a little bit tough to take, though, for Kiner. And that goes to ground. Nathaniel. McGrail now. Good metres. With a zigzagging run upfield. Nathaniel gets a quick roll ball too. This is a better set here from Bridgetine. Morrison now comes forward. McGrail dropping it down. Morrison picks it up quickly. Having a look on this right-hand side. Tough pass to take. They do a good job to reel it in, though. It was Helen. And they will get another set to work with here. So nice pressure from Bridgetine. They've deserved that penalty. Forcing Woolwich to work overtime. As Morrison now slows it down. Cycling the footy here for Nathaniel. Rolls it. Just shy of that seven. Woolwich stepping up as a unit. Morrison. Calling supporting players back underneath. Nathaniel is caught. Now they have a strike dump to work with. Here comes Morrison. Hard of the line. All is building nicely for Bridgetine, but the final pass goes to ground. Probably their best set of the match so far, though. Asking a few questions as McGrail makes the touch. Kiner now on the charge. Gets a quick play the ball as well. And forward they charge now, burning down the field. Wheelhouse. Back onto the mark. Kiner. Wheelhouse once more. Short delivery here for Southcombe. Southcombe. Cycling the footy once again. Back towards Kelly. Kelly will have a crack at them. They never got back the required distance. Smart play from Woolwich. Kelly dives from about six metres away and gets a third try on the board here for Maris Sisters College from Woolwich. Clinical display so far. So the battle of the eastern suburbs between these sides, Woolwich and Bridgetine out of Randwick. Certainly the points victory at the moment going the way of Woolwich. Spot in the grand final up for grabs. We'll have all that action coming your way very shortly. We'll move back to the junior grand finals after this one. So Morrison drops it down. Now McGrail. Short pass, very flat one as well. Let go by the officials. McGrail at first receiver. Gets it now. Heads across to this left-hand side of the field momentarily, then turns it back to Slattery. Hot potato style, they keep it alive. Slattery, bring it forward. McGrail under pressure there. Good read. Once more from Ellie Barnett. McGrail with the dummy. And yet again, another penalty here offside. So we have seen this up and in defensive style from Woolwich. It's really smothered Bridgetine, but it has also delivered a few penalties to the Ramwick girls. Draw and pass. Now try and play it inside the seven. Momentarily before heading back onto the mark. McGrail for Slattery. Caught here. Quick roll ball as well. McGrail now with a good chance to explode. Black here for Slattery. Nobody in at acting half initially and then caught out of dummy half. That should be the turnover. There's a real mix up at the moment. And what way is this going to go? I feel it might be another set to work with here for Bridgetine. Yes, it will. Well, that's two penalties now, of course. A third will result in a player being sat down. So they have to be careful here, Woolwich. McGrail. I'm looking to work for this penalty here, Bridgetine. Slattery. Slattery right to the line. Well read there. From Faye here. She turns them away. McGrail once more. Barnett up to make the touch. Slattery. Last play now. Slattery. Can she launch something at them? Slattery operating down that short side there and just turned away. So it's left plenty to be desired 
They work inside the seven. So far, Bridgedine. It's fine playing with a bit of patience, but you've eventually got to put the gas down. Of course, there's no kicking in touch footy, so that will be a turnover. So 3-0 the score remains. There's around about seven and a half minutes left in this first half. So Bridgetine now, about 15 metres away from the line. And they've stepped over the mark here too, so insult to injury. Another turnover against Bridgetine. Woolwich with a chance to pile on the pressure once more. Morrison makes the touch. Numbers out on this right-hand side. They'll head back to the middle instead. Kelly. Kelly getting all the way through them now, putting the foot down. Oh, Kelly is going to burn them right up the middle. And Brianna Kelly gets across the line and gets a fourth here for Woolwich. Four tries to nil. Woolwich over Bridgetine. So plenty of work to do. You'd just like to see them explode a little bit more once they're down the other end of the field. Bridgetine, it's been a very patient approach. Changing gears might produce a result for them. So touch is made there from Southcombe. And then retreating the distance. Slattery for Morrison. Once more heading to that right-hand side of the field. Southcombe working hard here. Slattery rolls it down. Better stuff here from Bridgetine. On the front foot and a quick roll ball as well. Chance to stack that short side, but they just got their bearings a little bit wrong there. Morrison had dropped back on to the inside. And the numbers advantage went away. So once more, an easy turnover in favour of Woolwich, who lead 4-0 at the moment. Slattery makes the touch. Kina. Now back here for Barnett. All oh, good footwork from Barnett. Turns them inside and out. Stood firm, though. Made a good touch in the end there. Norbury. Now once more, Barnett takes off this time. All the way into the end goal. Can't score herself out of acting half, but arriving on the scene is Kina, who collects a second here for Woolwich. 5-0. So Woolwich have grown as this match has gone on. It was tight for the first few minutes. Bridgetine probably actually had the better of the chances, but for the last 10 or so, it is one-way traffic. Nathaniel back out there now as well for Bridgetine. Hopping in at acting half here. Sending a short ball for Morrison. Nathaniel... Morrison once again, driving forward. Short offering here for Norbury. Norbury caught and back onto that seven metre mark she goes. Nathaniel, still an option through the middle. Last play now here for Bridgetine. They'll head to the right hand side this time. Norbury, still an option in that left link position. They can't find her though. And it dies here with Morrison. So turnover once more as immediately Woolwich look to go on the counter-attack and they get all the way through. Now really putting the foot down. It's a strong run here from Wheelhouse. No one's going to come within Cooe. And Wheelhouse will collect a sixth. It was just a change of pace there for her. So try time once again here for Woolwich. 6-0. I'll be hoping for that half-time break. It is very warm here as well in Ride. Just over three minutes remaining in the first half. A chance to recalibrate for coach Matthew Dunn and the Bridgetine girls. 
for the drive now. Nathaniel popping a short ball. Receives it back. That's better work here from Brigidine. Nice quick play of the ball too. Here comes Morrison. Opportunity out on that right-hand side. Turned away from it though. They've worked for a penalty. And once more they will receive it. They've had plenty of these. But Woolwich have been smart enough not to give away three and have a player sat down. Nathaniel once more restarting things. Wheelhouse and Southcombe through the middle. Southcombe making that touch there. Morrison. Delays and then finds Norbury. Quick play, the ball inside the seven. Now heading out to that right-hand side. Oh, great footwork. Popping over the top. Norbury on the spot. Now, I think the initial indiscretion might have been touched in flight. I'll have to have a check here. This could still be another set for Brigidine. And it will be another set for them. Not to mention the strong touch. So that will be the final call here. Multiple indiscretions. As Southcombe steps up to make the touch. Nathaniel plays it on the seven. Southcombe once more, who's made probably a good three or four of the last five touches. And we're under no real pressure, that ball goes to ground. So still 6-0 here for Woolwich. Time very quickly running out in this first half. Touch is made. An important one from Scarlett Helen. Very sloppy play the ball. And that one will indeed go the way of Brigidine. Inside the final minute now here of the first half at Holy Cross College Ride. Can Brigidine get themselves on the board just before the break? Nathaniel, Norbury, kind of makes the touch there for Woolwich. Morrison. Looking for an opening through the middle here. They've been few and far between for Brigidine. They now head to the right-hand side. They'll play quickly. No one ready to take that out of acting half though there's another penalty and they'll be happy to give away all of them in the world the clock is the bigger issue here at the moment for Bridgetine. they might get one or two plays left easy touch made here four seconds on the clock this should be the last one for them now Nathaniel caught there goes the siren they get to play the ball just in time Nathaniel shifting it back to Morrison. Up they step to meter. And it's a comprehensive display from Woolwich. Both sides of the, of the ball. Bit of work to do here for Brigidine at the break. They trail 6-0. We'll take a very short break and all the action in the second half here in just a moment for the Sydney Catholic School Sydney Autumn Championships for Touch Football.
Welcome back here for the second half of the Sydney Girls Touch Football semi-final as part of the Sydney Autumn Championships for Sydney Catholic Schools. Plenty of work to do here in the second half for Bridgetine, trailing 6-0. They've managed to get downfield quite easily. It's just that final seven, things start to become unstuck. But Woolwich are humming along quite nicely in this one and have one foot in the grand final at the moment. So final checks here from our referees. Everything running to a centralised clock. Once the official siren is heard, we'll be ready to get back underway. There it is. And Woolwich will get first use of the ball in the second half. Southcombe straight away looking to launch a charge here. They've come out all guns blazing. Southcombe once more. Bouncing around on that seven metre mark. Lovely draw and pass. And they immediately exploit the numbers to perfection. And Tanous is on the spot. A seventh here for Woolwich. Couple of strong charges out on that right hand side. Sucked in the defence and then quickly spread it to the left. That was all she wrote. They pick up where they left off in the first half. So 7 nil here to Woolwich. Slattery restarts things here. Morrison. Draw and pass here for McGrail. And in fact, it won't be a draw and pass. It'll be a touch pass instead. There's, of course, the gauntlet at your run. Trying to draw in the defensive line. If it's just that fraction too late, can get pinged for a touch pass. Good touch made there on that occasion from Helen. But straight away, they'll exploit where she was. And putting the foot down once again is Kelly, who collects a second. Very smart play for Woolwich. Helen made a good touch, but was then caught in no man's land and couldn't get back in time. And they were aware to it. So 8-0 now for Woolwich. Slattery once more restarts things. Here's McGrail. Slattery. Good metres on that run. Now Morrison driving forward once again. Morrison. Heading across to this right-hand side. McGrail and now Slattery at pace. Chance for a late release there to Morrison. Instead, tucked it under the wing. Last play now here for Bridgetine. Out for McGrail. McGrail caught there. Touch pass is called on the last. Faye here made a good effort there in defence, getting across nice and quick. Faye here once more with a lovely pass right at the advantage line. Once more, they put down the foot and away they go yet again. It's Barnett who will scorch them right up through the middle and collects a ninth, eighth try, I should say, here for Woolwich. So ninth try confirmed now for Woolwich. This is a better opportunity here for Bridgetine. McGrail nearly got around the outside of them. Helen from acting half sends it back towards the middle here for Morrison. Slattery. They need to be next to score if there are any chance of pulling this one out of the fire. Slattery. Late turn of the angle. Asking a few questions in this set, but they need some more strong charges heading in the right direction. It's all very lateral at the moment here from Ramwick. Bridgetine girls can't find an opening. 
There's Faye here. Sends it out to this left-hand side for Woolwich. And now wrapping around as an option once more. Faye here at pace. The draw and pass. Lovely ball. And now tiptoeing down the sideline. They'll come back onto the spot, though. Forward pass. So 9-0 the score. I threatened to get away once again, though. That would have been a second there for Tanous. Started this half in superb fashion. Scoring with the first opportunity for Woolwich. Southcombe stepping up. Trying to turn them away. This time they'll operate down the left-hand side. We haven't seen too much of that. Across the first half and the start of this second here for Bridgetine. Wider still they go. Once more looking for Helen. That is a tough one to take though and the ball goes to ground. Easy pickings defensively at the moment here for Woolwich. It's all lateral. No one really hitting a hole. Easy metres as well here for Southcombe. Kelly. Kelly takes off once again, looking for the hat-trick. Just too much speed for Brianna Kelly. And that brings up double digits now. The referee's just checking for a mercy rule here at 10 nil. The referee's just saying they aren't 100% across whether a mercy rule is invoked or not. Our previous match was 13 2. I'll just check with the administration staff here for Sydney Catholic Schools as well. It is, of course, the semi-final. Bridgetown girls aren't in particularly poor spirits. They're just enjoying the day. It is a beautiful day for touch footy as well. Perfect sunshine. Quite warm as well. I believe scoring-wise the game is done, but they might continue playing. So still just conferring here for final instructions. I don't think we'll see any more actual official tries scored. So both coaches now coming in. Matthew Dunn and Nicholas Severus. And they are shaking hands now, so I think that will be the end of this one. So mercy rule invoked. And that'll do us here. So an early little break. Woolwich go marching into the grand final. Well done to Bridgetine for their appearance here in the semi-final. But at 10-0, they'll call this one. Final score here. Maris Sisters Woolwich, 10 over Ramwick. Bridgetine College, nil. Short break here on Sydney Catholic Schools. No, that's all right. We've already, we've already mentioned it.
Um, do you want me to um, put you on? It is grand final time here for the Sydney Catholic Schools Sydney Autumn Championships for touch football. Karing Bar getting first use of possession up against Holy Cross College Ride, the junior boys division. De La Salle carrying by here, getting inside the seven. They'll drop it around about a metre from the try line here and head back out towards that right-hand side. This is Pisani. Now drop down. Pisani having another look at them, turns off the right foot, floats it back towards the left-hand side. Good up and in defence. And they see off the first assignment here, Holy Cross College. Nice quick roll ball. Working on their defence, that was the call just before the final huddle from De La Salle carrying bar. And we certainly know that Holy Cross College have plenty of great attacking exponents in the outfit. And Pisani living up to that defensive expectation here early on. So nil-nil, of course, 20-minute halves here, 40-minute matches. If we're still locked up at the end of regular time, we move to a drop-off. Each side will be reduced from six to four players for a period of two minutes. If we're still level after that point in time, down to three. Wide comes Carring Bar, and they'll kill it right towards the subs box here for Holy Cross College Ride. Neil all at the moment. Touch made there from Pisani. Bouncing around here for the run there of Isaac Miller. Miller receiving it back once again here for De La Salle. Holy Cross College right, they floated over the top, still alive here. Carring Bar, did they get there in time? No, he somehow evades the touch, gets it across the line. A first try here for Holy Cross College Ride. It's 1-0 in the grand final. Very close run thing though. The scramble was good for Carring Bar. Just couldn't quite get there in time, though. So try time here for Kobe Turkle. Carring Bar now looking to hit back. Short pass provided. Libro. Now roll it quickly here. Once more having an attack at them. And Holy Cross College Ride turned them away. So Ride now, driving forward, heading towards the sideline. Short pass provided, touch is made. Miller driving forward. And now on the follow-up, Broadbent. Here comes the run now from Alohi. Last one here for Rye. They send it wide. Good scramble on that occasion there from Jonah Doherty, who makes the touch. Flat pass right at the advantage line here for De La Salle, carrying bar. Four they drive, nearly an indiscretion in the roll ball. Could have gone either way there. Short pass there for Spodgenberg. As they head it out wide. That one well and truly wide of the mark as well. Falling short of support. It's right going the charge now. Flat pass here. Provided for the run of Ahalahi. Ahalahi, hopping in at acting half. Short pass here and once more on the charge. Good touch made in the end there from carrying bar, but offside and no advantage. They'll come back for the penalty and an extra set to work with here. Ride close to the try line. Crabbing a crossfield here through Galea. Of course, the son of former West Tiger Ben Galea, part of the 2005 Premiership winning squad. Great to see he's still living in the area. 
Tigers Heartland around Ride and also the likes of Balmain, of course. It's dropped down now. It's Badgenberg. Short pass provided here. Galloping forward. Ride, stern in defence, stepping up now on Pisani. Floating a pass out wide. It wasn't a bad idea. Needed to be quite a speedy one to get around Merchant, though. He's very quick himself, Cooper Merchant. Pisani with a fresh set, though, for Karingbar. Taps it and drives forward. Spagenberg drops it down. Pisani caught in possession there. Set nicely. Both sides of the play the ball here. They'll head to the right on this occasion. Pisani then collapses off that right foot. Gets to ground very quickly. Strong touch made though from Ride. Pisani again looking dangerous. Floats it over the top. Good sliding defence there from Ride though. They see off the threat once more. But Karingba warming into the contest here. Ride with a short ball. Jamming in is Pisani. That was chest on chest on that occasion. Touch comes in. And that's good. Up and in the face. Pressure there. From the carrying bar outfit. Forcing a turnover. And forward they drive now. Pisani once more through the middle. Stopping on the run, then twisting, turning, providing it here for Spangenberg. Pisani sends it out to that left link. Drops it down. Last play now. Pisani once more. Pisani, the hop and the skip. Tries to feed it down a short side. A wonderful attempted finish, but well and truly caught before that process could be completed. A slender margin at the moment, though. Ride leading one try to nil. Grand final action for Sydney Catholic Schools. Short pass here and then stepping back off the left foot a couple of times. All good footwork here from Miller. New South Wales All Schools representative. He drops it down. Last play now as they go at speed here. Rootsy having a look. Sends it wide. Great scramble, though, from Karingbar. Slid across beautifully in defence and shut it down. Out to this right-hand side they come now with Pisani. A delay on the pass and now setting sail down the sideline. Spagenberg. Into the action they come. Floating a pass across. And now Doherty. I'll turn this one over. Pretty much bang on the halfway line. Dummy and picking up an extra few metres here. Now the run of Rootsy. Rootsy off the right foot. Sydney Mets representative, of course, by Rootsy. It's part of the NYC for Touch Football Australia. Miller. Caught here. Miller again having a little look at them. Miller all oh, trying to collapse between a couple of defenders. They were wary to it though. Last play now here for Ride. Back to the seven metre mark they go. Great footwork from Miller. Stepping a couple of times. Still alive in this play. Sends it here for Rootsy. Now something out of nothing perhaps. Rootsy trying to squeeze between a couple of defenders. They shut down the gap very quickly. Still, just one try to nil here. They roll it back. Spagenberg now driving forward. Sure pass. Hitting right on that advantage line. Doherty. Driving forward. Called back though.
Metres on offer here for Galea. Galea once more stepping off the left foot. Rolls it back nice and quick. Galea, an option through the middle again. Gets the strike up. And now they look to really launch a raid here. Ahalahi. Lovely pass right at the death and then getting to ground quickly. Not quick enough to evade the touch, though. Great defence once more from Carrying Bar. They spoke about that being the key focus for this grand final. As Wisden looks set to join the action now. In he comes. Great diving touch made there on that occasion from Aholahi. Short ball at pace there. That time Spagenberg. Flick pass back on the inside there from Jai Pisani. Very stylish player. But here is the turnover in favour of Ride now. Great field position to start the set as well. Ahalahi. Nice footwork. Got away from the first defender. Couldn't beat the second. Broadbent. Rolls it now, about eight metres away. At pace they go here, right all, right through the middle. Just caught in time, though. It was a very close run thing. It was Spagenberg who got the touch right on the line. Last one now here for Ride. Heading well and truly away from the subs box. Trying to make it as difficult as possible for Carrying Bar to get those reinforcements back on the field. And now Pisani works it away for Carrying Bar. Good pace about this game so far. Certainly living up to the expectation of a grand final. Meters on offer here. Run coming in from Wisden. At speed, Spagenberg gets it away. There's one more player out wide, and that had to be played out there. It was Turkle who stepped in front of the pass. He's already scored one try himself. He might have saved one there for Ride. Pisani once more, seven away from the Ride line. He has been the architect so far for Carring Bar. Pisani having a little look at them off the right foot. Once more, they see off the threat though here for Ride. The home side leading one try to nil at brother Benedict Olsen Oval. Good metres picked up on that run. Now they send it wider still from Rootsy. Then hops in an acting half all very flat pass there from Rootsy. Back to back flat ones in fact as Miller now rolls it back. Rootsy takes off. Here goes Bo Rootsy puts down the foot. Rootsy looking for support. He'll go out wide. It's a floating wobbly ball but it hits the mark. Has it gone forward, though? Final checks. It's cleared. Rootsy sets up a cracker. Try time for Boston Kelly. It's 2-0 here. The home team setting the benchmark early on. So carrying by with a little bit of work to do here. Short ball provided. Off the right foot they come. Good pressure. Up to meet him was Kelly having just scored a try. Working hard both sides of the ball. They've earned a penalty here though. T. Larsau carrying by. So full set to play with. They're certainly not out of the action as of yet. A lot of time still to play in this one. Around about five and a half minutes remaining in this first half. Once more operating down that right-hand side. Well watched in defence. Wider still they go now through Vela. Toward the middle and then late delay on the pass. Vela still out wide there. They won't quite get it that far though. Doherty instead caught from that link position. There's the changeover in favour of Ride. 
Short ball here for Rootsy. Drops it down nice and quickly. So too in the run there was El Shake. Rootsy. Boston Kelly. Options out wide now. Rootsy taking off once again. Bo Rootsy looking dangerous. Oh, pops a pass over the top. It's going to be a top. A uh, popped pass or I should say attached pass called. Rootsy though, so dangerous. Every time he takes the ball to the line, he's causing plenty of problems. Max Kelly nearly the recipient on that occasion for a third try there of Holy Cross College. Ahalahi sends it to the middle now. Here is Broadbent on a crabbing run, picking up about five or so metres. Touch made there from Spagenberg. They keep going up through the middle with this drive. Galea involved in the action once again. So too is Libro. Galea drops it down. Ahalahi on the last now. Bouncing around. Good footwork from Ahalahi. Stepping left and right. Ahalahi once more. Now turns it back on the inside. All oh, lovely pass. Well read, though, from Spagenberg, who turns them away. Carring Bar hanging in the contest here. It's relentless from Ride. They do say defence wins you those big matches, and at the moment, Carring Bar have got oodles of that. What can they do on the other side of the ball, though? Still yet to trouble the scorer's list. As Pisani pops in at acting half. A nice little strike dump to work with on the last, but significant distance from the line. And the ball is cleared away. That'll be a free march up the field. Silly stuff there from Pisani. So a new set to commence here. Ahalahi drops it down. Good metres on offer so far in this set. They'll go all the way through the middle, all saving touch in the end from Pisani. Last play now for Ride. Trying to get on the inside there of the work from their left link, but it was a good touch made in the end. And now Carring Bar can work it away from their own danger zone. Meters on offer. Now play directly on the halfway line now here. De La Sauer carrying bar. Spagenberg. Round about 15 away from the line. Nice straight drive here. Building well in this set. Spagenberg out on that right-hand side. Very late to join the action. Wider still was Howard. Eventually got in position. Hasn't quite come that far as of yet. Played here from Wisden. There is the changeover, though. So Ryan really starting to struggle the life out of carrying bar here. There's no easy metres. They've muscled up in defence the last few minutes. Carring Bar struggling for field position now as much as opportunities when they are in the right spot. Kelly drops it down. Here's Bo Rootsy again, who's been exceptional in this grand final. Hitting the line at pace. A nice quick strike dump to work with as well. Rootsy sends it to the middle. Still live as an option. Receives it back now. Drops it down. Last play here. No real strike dump to work with. Rootsy wraps around, tries to work for that three on two. Rootsy puts the foot down. Great saving touch, though. Diving through the middle. Carring bar, hold on once more. It's inspired defense from them. And now here they go. An opportunity to march downfield. They'll link up wider still. Carring bar popping a pass back on the inside. It's alive for them. Can they link up one final time? No. Good scramble in the end from Ride. There is a little bit of life still here for Carring Bar. They'll play it nine metres away. Options on this right-hand side of the field. Stepping up to meet them. Good touch made in the end there from El Sheikh. 
They'll head back toward the middle, enough to earn a penalty and a fresh set. Well, this is the best opportunity of the match now for Karimbar, but they're only going to get one play. They've got to keep it alive. Spagenberg under pressure, turned away. Terrific first half from both sides, but at the break, it's a slender lead to the home team. Holy Cross College Ride leading D. LaSalle, carrying by two tries to nil. Welcome back here to Holy Cross College, Ryan. Second half action for the Junior Boys Grand Final as part of the Sydney Autumn Championships for Touch Footy. And Bo Rootsy gets right on the board straight away in the second half. 
He's been outstanding in the first stanza and he continues where he left off. Three tries to nil now. Rootsy on fire here. So some of those final numbers coming through as well. Appreciate your patience with that. But we had no team list at the beginning of the match, so we have been filling it in through the work of the coaching staff for De La Salle carrying by as the game has gone on. But on the run now, that's Lopez. Coming forward. Change over now, though, for them. Touch is made on this occasion. Ahalahi here. Chopping a little pass and now on the charge. Here come Ride once again. Putting the foot down. That was Galea. Touch is made. Galea staying alive on the follow-up play. And now the wrap around here from Broadbent. Broadbent ushered sideways. And eventually the touch is made there from Bar. So they are marking up well. Having conceded that early try in the second half. Just making the assignment a little bit more difficult for them. Pizzani is out there now as well. He looked likely in the first half. Pizzani now for Doherty. Pizzani picks it up, scoots, attempts the flick pass, and collectively the hands go on the heads in the bench. Flick is always the last resort. Such is the stranglehold in defence that Ryan have had in this game so far. It's a very sloppy play, the ball there from Ahalahi. And that will be a changeover as a result. Good field position here for Karingbar. Four they drive now through Mooney. Spengenberg. And now for the run here of Wisdom. Spengenberg. Dumbing both ways. Short pass here for Curtis. Curtis still an option. Spengenberg heads out to the left instead. Wisden caught. Last play now here for Karingbar. No way through once more. It has been solid defence from the get-go from Holy Cross College Ride. Long way to go still, but... All the ascendancy at the moment in favour of the home team. And that will certainly not help the cause for De La Salle carrying bar. Be a fresh set to work with. Back on the mark they go and Rootsy taps it. We're back underway once more. Metres on offer here for Merchant. Just over running. Acting half there. El Sheikh was aware to it. Decided not to pull the trigger on that pass. Miller. Rootsy back to Miller. And well marked up in defence. They just slid across nicely on that occasion. So Karingbar have seen off plenty of threats from Ryan so far. Some early luck in this second half to break... Breach that little gap there. Last one now, though, for De La Salle, carrying bar. Off they go once more, putting the foot down, staying alive. Spedgenberg, however, touch pass is going to be called. This will go the way of Ride, still leading 3-0. They just can't find a way through at the moment. Towards the sideline. Very flat pass. I'd have to say more than flat, but play on is the call. Miller is caught. Broadbent. Hopping in an acting half. Numbers on that right-hand side of the field. Now slow it down momentarily. Once more, Broadbent having a crack at them. Delay on the pass. Nice ball. Again, well watched in defence, though, from De La Salle carrying bar. Up they drive now and really jamming in hard. Trying to prevent any clean sweep here for the subset. One more play 
to work with here. There is the last now. Pisani takes off, running at an offside marker. Pisani trying to squeeze through. The initial marker was offside, but the man back through the middle. He had retreated the required distance. As a result, touch is made, and there is the changeover. Very hot conditions here at ride, but a little bit of cloud coverage now starting to form and some winds also picking up. Nothing that will change the course of a long ball, though. As Galea drops it down. Galea at the line now. Galea, good stepping, passing wide. Oh, did they get the touch just in time? Yes, they did. A very close run thing. Galea, lovely footwork. Nearly opened up a big opportunity for them. Rolled back here from Vela. And then hitting the line hard there. Lovely run on that occasion there from Finn Thompson. Picked up good metres. Doherty rolls it back. Now Pisani. Nice quick strike dump. Last play here, Pisani. He's gone the wrong way, though. It's only one man to his left. As a result, no numbers to exploit. But they... We'll get the ball back here, though. De La Salle carrying by, will they? Well, that was the... <laughs> that was the... The direction suggesting it would have been carrying by ball, but changeover is called here. So Ride will keep marching forward now, up towards halfway. <whistles> Under pressure here. And all offside. That's why the pressure was so intense there from carrying by. They're up far too early. Good footwork here from Miller, who drops it back. Rootsy out there again. This is the danger combo. Miller slowing it down. Rootsy. Bit of strategy coming into play here for Ryde. They'll drop it down now. Rootsy to Miller. Still an option. Miller with the flick pass. Rootsy somehow escapes the touch. Still crabbing across field. Can't escape Pisani, though. Last play here. Miller, the show and go from Rootsy, who takes off. Oh, Rootsy, straight out of the Scotty Prince playbook, the one-arm dummy, and then took off with oodles of speed. It's a fourth try here for Ryde. Well, it's a name we've certainly become quite acquainted with at junior representative levels, and you're seeing why. Bo Rootsy putting the boot in. And carrying by wanting to get on with things, but the troops are still making their way across the sideline. Making sure they have the correct amount on the field as Sellers comes forward. Still an option there in that left link position. Now wrapping around Spagenberg. Wisden bouncing off the right, then the left. Sellers looming on this right hand side now. Curtis. On the last here. Incorrect play the ball. They won't get to fire a shot. So the time keeps ticking down. And that margin still at four tries to nil. Just over 10 minutes remaining here in this one. Referee's just laying down the law here to Giant Pisani, who was calling out forward from the sidelines and just saying, you stick to your job, I'll stick to mine. Pisani perhaps a little bit frustrated with things. He's had an excellent game so far. Just unable to breach the try line. The playmaker through the middle. Spedgenberg. Bouncing off the right foot. Hopping out to that left-hand side. Now drop down. Little bobble in the play of the ball. Play on, though. Out for Sellers. Sellers caught by, by Ahalahi here. Spedgenberg hopping in an acting half. Quick roll ball there for the run of Curtis. Curtis turns it back on the inside. Last play now. Strike dump here for Curtis. Dummies a couple of times. Tries to squeeze a pass around the back. 
But the touch pass is called. There is the changeover. So around about nine minutes remaining here. Still a lot of work to do for Carring Bar to get themselves into the contest. Not done with just yet, though. Four tries to nil. It's Broadbent. Charges forward. Pass right on the advantage line. Now Ahalahi. Good footwork. Plays it quickly. Broadbent on the follow-up. Touch is made from Sellers. Last one here for Ride. Building nicely in this set. Here comes Ahalahi. The pass is forward, though. The head went rocking back from Ahalahi. An opportunity gone begging. Broadbent makes the touch and Sellers leaves it behind. Chance for a quick turnaround too. Now, was Sellers ever back on side? Ahalahi ran directly at him, expecting the penalty, but not blown on this occasion. Libro. Broadbent. Up to meet him. Nice touch made there from Cooper Wisden. Back to the middle here for Galea. Ahalahi having a crack at them. Did he get back on the inside of Spurgeonberg? Yes, he did. Ahalahi, he's been denied a couple of times, but a big right foot step, enough to get around them. It's a fifth try now for Holy Cross College Ride, and they've got one hand on the trophy. So many attacking weapons. It's a lot to contend with, and Carring Bar have been gallant thus far, but there's only so much water the dam can hold, so to speak. Pisani. Now for Thompson. Lopez. Bouncing around. Sending it wide. Pisani once more having a little look at them. Tracking to that left-hand side. Good sliding defence, though, from Holy Cross College. Pisani floating a pass out and once more turned away. So whilst they've been incredibly impressive with ball in hand, take nothing away from the defensive efforts here of Ride. No chinks in the armour as of yet as Rootsy bounces off the left foot, heads out towards that right-hand side of the field. Very flat, more than flat from Rootsy. But the initial indiscretion will be offside. So lucky to get away with that one. El Shake now. Rootsy. Again, very flat right at the advantage line. Lopez makes the touch. Good metres on offer here for Kelly. About 15 metres away. Miller. Kelly on the last now. Here they come once again, putting the foot down for El Shake. It's another penalty here for Holy Cross College. So Merchant catching a cold at the moment out on that right-hand side. They haven't looked that way too many times so far in this match. And an incorrect play the ball means they certainly won't get a chance to do so in this set. So Carring Bar with work to do. Pisani brings it forward. Thompson. And now for the run of Lopez. Plays it quickly just when they were getting a bit of momentum. Ball goes to ground midway through the set. Rootsy evades the first defender. Now Rootsy puts the foot down. Oh, look at the footwork. Ini Camozo hot stepping for Merchant. Merchant leaves it behind. Rootsy, like a kangaroo out there, bouncing around. Short side raid now here for Carring Bar, trying to pick up some easy metres. Nothing easy, though, when Ride's involved. They've been pretty much close to perfect with five minutes to go here. The margin still at five. They'd have to score with just about every set of the ball here to try and force the drop-off. Doherty comes forward. Last play now. And nothing really coming here for Carring Bar. They'll turn it over. And it's just a brick wall. 
This ride team impossible to break down. Maruzzi has played a starring role as we're also now seeing just a few drops of rain start to emerge here at Holy Cross College. Weather has changed very quickly as Ahalahi brings it forward. Broadbent. Galia, last play now. Broadbent with numbers in motion. Trying to squeeze through a little gap there was Libro. They stood up nicely and turned him away. Broadbent now rolls it back. Sellers on the run. Meters here for Wisden. Spechenberg. Last play now. Here comes Curtis. Delay on the ball. Sellers under pressure once more. But they're offside and they will get another crack at the line here. De La Salle carrying by with about three and a half to go. Spengenberg. Curtis back to Spengenberg here. Drop down. Wisden on that left hand side now. Was that a forceful touch? No play on the call for now. Mutual infringement. Drop down. Spengenberg. Curtis having a look at them. Touch made from Broadbent back on the inside though. Back to the seven metre mark they come here. Curtis trying in vain to find an opening. And this one will go the way of Holy Cross College ride. You can call it now. They are the champions here. For the Sydney Catholic Schools Touch Football Sydney Autumn Championships. Good metres on offer now. Ahalahi. Drops it down. They're all looking to get involved on this occasion. Lovely pass. The draw is good. Did they get there in time? I think they have through Howard. They've cleared him through. Howard didn't get there in time, in fact. So another try here for Holy Cross College Ride. 6 0. And on the board is Max Kelly. been an impeccable performance from Holy Cross College Ride. It's a ground they know very well. And I'm sure brother Benedict Olsen would be very impressed with their performance here. It's his oval. And Holy Cross College Ride have certainly put their stamp on it. Pisani having another crack at them. Last play now here for De La Salle carrying by. You'd like to see them get something on the board. They've done a great job to make it through to the grand final. Pisani can't squeeze in between a couple of defenders. El Sheikh was one of them. Ruzzi now takes off. Always a threat with ball in hand. Short pass here. And now easy metres upfield. Ruzzi hopping in at acting half. They'll turn it over though. Less than a minute to play. They can start lapping it up here. Holy Cross College ride. The trophy hasn't got too far to go. Maybe a couple of hundred metres into the cabinet. Carrying bar through Thompson. Driving forward. Pisani at first receiver. Still searching for that first try. 30 seconds on the clock. Pisani, good footwork. Tries to evade the efforts there of Miller, who makes the touch. Carrying bar rolling it back. Curtis in an acting half. They'll get the extra set and Ride won't mind it too much. Just eating down the clock. Ten seconds remaining. They might get two more plays. Pisani certainly taking a bit of time with it. Wants the strike dump. This should be the last now. Pisani sends it out. The ball hits the deck. There is the siren. I still think we've got one more play to come though. Here it is now, Pisani bouncing around, releases the pass after the touch and the celebrations begin here for Holy Cross College Ride. More silverware into the trophy cabinet. 
a comprehensive display, outstanding in defence. They keep the clean sheet full-time here in the junior touch football championships for the Sydney Catholic Schools. A victory for Holy Cross College Ride, 6-0 over De La Salle Caring Bar.
Thanks anyway. You grab one in case you want to. Ah, all good. Cheers. Two games left, this one and fingers, both grand finals. Welcome back and welcome to another grand final here. The Intermediate Boys Division for the Sydney Catholic Schools Sydney Autumn Championships Touch Footy Holy Cross Final 13-2 on that occasion against Rosebank College in Five Dock. The De La Salle certainly no pushover team here. This is a red hot outfit as well. And they are coached by touch footballing absolute legendary royalty. Gab Rose, a Jubilee inductee, Hall of Famer as well. She's played for state and country. One of the sharpest minds in the game of touch football. She's behind all this structure here for D. Lastow Karingbar. And for Holy Cross College Ride, some really outstanding players across the, t the team here. And their coach is Jennabel Castro. And we are underway here in the grand final. Holy Cross College Ride with first use of the ball. 20-minute halves. Fotheringham comes forward. Custo. Custo once more hopping in an acting half and now wrapping around is Isaac Custo who slams it down in front of a big contingency of home supporters on the hill. Ride strike first. Isaac Custo on the board. So just three plays down. And they have already breached De La Sauer carrying bar. So a bit of work to do here. O'Hanlon plays it. Now four they drive through Devane. Bouncing around here. Looking for a little bit of extra meterage on this occasion. Wrapping around here is Penman. Penman can't find a gap though. 
Finn Casto stepped out to meet him. Last play here for De La Salle carrying bar. Bouncing around was O'Hanlon. Nowhere to go, though. And Ride see off their first defensive assignment. Luca Rach now with good metres. Lawrence. Kanan, the captain of Holy Cross College Ride. Driving forward. Kilby. Kilby once more. Lovely sliding defence there from De La Salle carrying bars. The sun comes out in full force once more here at Holy Cross College Ride. Hot conditions for these players. Been a long day of touch footballing action. Hope you've enjoyed all the coverage. Short pass provided here for De La Salle carrying bar. Bouncing around. And now Handel offers it away. Tapper. And now stepping off that right foot and having a good crack at them is Marshall Barlow. Barlow, did he go all the way through? No, just caught him in time. And Barlow certainly questioning it. Confidence on the sideline as well, but it's Devane who's come off now. He likes what he's seen from his side so far in the opening exchanges, but it is still Holy Cross College ride who are leading. That ball goes to ground, though. No advantage. They're all offside, De La Salle carrying bar. Meters here for Luca Rach. Drops it down. Now Custo driving forward. Fotheringham up inside that final 15 metres. Custo again. Once more. Oh, this time Finn having a crack at them. Did he get all the way through? Yes, he did. So both the Custo boys have gone over now. Finn and Isaac getting them off to a superb start here, the home team. Holy Cross College Ride leading two tries to nil. Master against Apprentice there. Gab Rose against Gemma Belcastro. Pressure through the ruck. Penalty going the way of De La Salle carrying bar. Custo comes out, makes the touch. Well, a couple of dummies nearly squeezing all the way through. In fact, better than nearly. Outstanding deception. Cooper Penman writes his name on the scorer sheet. It's game on here. 2-1. Holy Cross College ride. This certainly isn't going to be a walkover. Still very early in the piece too. More than 15 minutes remaining in this first half. Shown here a couple of times from Rapina Dunn. And then left behind here from Kilby. And they'll be marched upfield as well. Bit of back chat there after proceedings. Forward they march now. Meters on offer here. Touches made here now on Noah Golds. Rapina Dunn, Kilby. Bouncing off that left foot. Now the touch comes in. It's a strong one too from Zane Pisani. Kilby. Feigning the wrap around. They work it away to this right-hand side. Great evasive technique. And they're claiming a touch on the ground. And the referees will back it. Devane gets what could be a very important touch in the grand scheme of things. Pisani. Sending it out wide now. Penman. One try so far in this grand final already. Penderman now crabbing across field. Meters here for Devane. Now Barlow getting good meterage here. Short ball provided from Danuccio. Last play now here for De La Salle carrying bar. Danuccio 
Trying to fire it across the face. Kanaan stepped up in the line, applied the pressure. And the ball goes to ground. Change over on the last. Kilby now sends it here for Ride. So good contest forming here at Holy Cross College. Kanaan once more strong with the charge upfield. Casto, however, on the follow-up, leaves it behind. Carrying bar, settling into the contest now. Tough start for them. Two rapid-fire tries from Ride. Carrying bar sending it to the left-hand side now. Pressure coming here on Barlow. And that pressure is in the form of offside defenders. So a full set to work with here now for De La Salle carrying bar from close to the line. Custo makes the touch. Here they come again. Or oh, Barlow, good footwork off the right, then off the left. Barlow. Fain to have the touch called on him. Now Charlie Rapp certainly is caught. He'll go back to the mark here. Barlow, short pass for Taper. Barlow. And they're pinged for a touch pass. There is the change over here coming for Ride. Slender margin here. Two tries to one. Still plenty of time left in this first half. More than 12 minutes. Custo puts in a dummy. They pick up an extra good meterage there. Iongi, oh, nearly drops it. In fact, does at the death. But the touch came before that, though. Custo. Here they come now. Finn drops it back for Isaac. Isaac off the left, still going. Pops a pass or just behind. Good pressure from De La Salle carrying, but still tight here at two tries to one. 11.40 on the clock in this first half. Long way still to go. Half an hour of touch footy left. It's a sloppy play, the ball. And carrying bar are pinged for it. Finn Casto now. Draws the penalty. So the two Casto boys out there working well together. Both have already scored a try in this grand final. Touch made. Isaac Custo takes off. What about the speed from Isaac once again? Slams it down. Jeez, he's caused a few problems for Carring Bar in this grand final. You cannot substitute for pace, and he's got it in abundance. 3-1 now. It's the Custo boys taking on Carring Bar. Rolled back now. Kilby makes a touch. Alongside Rapina Dunn. Now head out to that left-hand side, nearly splitting them momentarily there. It was Devane. Penman. Pisani. Sends it wide. Devane sends it on. Beautiful play. Try time once again here for Carring Bar. They hit back. Lovely right to left passing. Opening up a passage and try time for Carring Bar. 3 2 now the score. Well, they just won't go away. They're going to force this all the way to the end here. Fotheringham drives forward now for Ride. Kilby with a short pass here for Kanan. Captain back on deck. Rapina Dunn also out there now. Kanan sending it here for Fotheringham. Drops it down. Kanan, the big dummy, now sends it back towards the middle. Rapina Dunn under all sorts of pressure. Pisani, wonderful read, stepped up, made the touch. And once more, carrying bar, see off the threat. Sloppy play the ball, that will be pinged. 
Well, every time they start building, in the last few minutes, they tend to give it away. And now Fotheringham has a good chance here for Ryan before he's ushered back towards the middle. Heavy contact there, but not forceful, according to the referees. Kilby, Kilby, floating in the air, threatening to go bang off the right foot. Now Rapina Dunn, just inside the seven. Rapina Dunn, draw and pass, Fotheringham, lovely ball for the corner. Does he get the finish in time, Tyson Lawrence? Yes, he does. Mark it down. Lawrence on the board for Holy Cross College Rye. The margin back out to three, four, one here. At brother Benedict Olsen Oval. On the grounds of Holy Cross College themselves, the home team. Rising to the task. Not overawed by the occasion. A good contingency of support here as well. Dummy comes in here from Marshall Barlow. Oh, did he get hands underneath it before it hit the deck? No, it has indeed. Collected grass before palm. And as a result, there is the changeover. Luca Rach now comes forward. Lovely quick promotion of the footy here. Now Lawrence out wide looking for a second in this one. Strong touch made from Javeski. And he'll be called out here. That was a little bit overzealous from Tyler Javeski. No force substitution though. Just a warning here from the officials. Golds sends it back to the Whittle. Custo. This is Finn. Isaac just on his inside. Already two tries for him. Now Rach at speed. Oh, Rach, beautiful draw and pass. Lovely ball for Golds. And that is gold medal worthy. It's another one here for Holy Cross College Rye. The margin back out to three. It's 5-2. All the tricks in the book. This is a well-drilled side. Drop down now. Here they come on the charge once more. There was a player clearing through the ruck. As a result, there's another set. Again, Penman. Looking for an opportunity. Nothing forthcoming at the moment, though. Penman shows it. Delivers now. Pisani bouncing off that left foot. Still looking for a chink in this armour. They found a gap twice. They're hard to come by, though. And there's another penalty, though, for De La Salle carrying but They'll have to be careful here, Holy Cross College, right? Pisani calling the shots, hopping in an acting half now. Short pass delivered. I think there was a touch in time there from Ayongi. Yes, there was. Back to the seven they go. They'll send it to Pisani. Penman on his hip. Plays it now. Pisani back to Penman. Beautiful read from Kanan. Back to the seven they go. Penman. Holding it up for an eternity here. Now they get the strike dump. Penman feigns to go left, brings it back to the right. Pisani, oh, I was building there for carrying bar. If they take clean possession, they score. Instead, Holy Cross College maintain that three try advantage. 5 2 here on their home turf. Time beginning to run out in this first half. Around about four and a half remaining. Custo comes forward. Now Isaac picks it up, has a dart himself on the last. Nowhere to go at the moment. Tries to turn it back here for Finn. Throws it over the top. It was play on. Had the last pass stuck, that would have been very interesting. Pisani drives forward and then hits the sideline. Penman follows up in like kind. Now the run here from Tapper. Driving strongly though is Danuccio. Wrap. And there is the touch. Nowhere 
for Tapper to go. Meters an offer for Derby Fotheringham. Custo, Finn now to Isaac and back for Fotheringham once more. Straight up through the guts. Nice drives in this set. Custo drops it down. Sloppy play the ball though. Both sides have been guilty of that in this grand final. Didn't really see any of it in the semis and perhaps it is the pressure of the occasion. This game certainly not a foregone conclusion though. It's still close enough. 5-2, the margin at three. Tapper sends it to the middle here for Rapp. Caught here by Isaac Custo. Still driving forward. Good meters on offer here for Denuccio. They won't get the strike dump to work with, though, having overstepped the mark. Last play now. Nowhere to go, and Luca Rach steps up and makes the touch. Still in control here. Holy Cross College ride. Not going away, though, Karingba. Lawrence feeds a short pass here for Finn Custo. And there is the call here. Incorrect play the ball. And the referee's just laying down the law here. They don't need to hear back from the students. They've got this game under control. Pisani. Now for Penman. These two have been dangerous here. For De La Salle, carrying bar. And there is no touch on that occasion. So he was able to work all the way through. Cooper Penman. And there's a nice little running battle going on between himself and I think that might be Rapina Dunn. Certainly had a little bit to say after that try was scored. Rapina Dunn thought it was a foregone conclusion the touch would be made. But he in fact never got back on side. Penman let him know about it. Touch made there. Now Iongi drives forward. Kanan right at the advantage line. Picks up another 10 or so metres. Kilby. Short delivery here for Iongi. Stacking numbers to this right-hand side. Kilby now steps off the right foot. Floating a pass back out in front. Turned away. Trying to squeeze the ball through. Intercepted, though. That'll be a zero touch. Now Penman, who's looked very dangerous, sends it wide here for Devane. Devane once more. Working hard out of acting half. Now, I believe that must be Billy Rose. Initially named at number eight, but there's no number eight out there. None of the ten on the team list. So I think that will be Billy Rose in the ten. Pisani. Now for Penman. Pisani once more. Penman drops it down. Nice quick strike dump. Penman has a crack at them. Trying to play through a marker he thought was offside. And yes, spotted it well enough. It was Kilby. But it wasn't a play through. So back onto the mark they go. Now Devane tries to turn away. He's done enough there, Devane. Great footwork. Now he is certainly claiming he's gone all the way through. Holy Cross College think they got the touch. But I think this might actually favour Devane. And there is confirmation. Devane evades them. A big left foot step. All of a sudden, it's game on. 5-4. There goes the halftime hooter. What a second stanza we've got coming up here. Two late tries in the first half for D. Larsal. Karingba has this one on a nice edge. All the second half action in just a moment. Don't you go too far. It's 5-4. Holy Cross College leading D. Larsal. Karingba in the Sydney Catholic Schools. Order championships for touch football.
Welcome back here to the second half of the Intermediate Boys Touch Football Grand Final for Sydney Catholic Schools Autumn Championships. This is a real nail-biter. 5-4 at the break. Two late tries in that first half have put De La Salle carrying bar back into contention here and they will get first use of possession in the second as well. 20 minutes to sort it out. Are we heading for a drop-off? That's the big question. Final checks here from our officials, of course. We have to wait for the siren. Uh, it keeps both games in check, but some outstanding individual battles across the park. A real good running one between Cooper Penham, Penman and Rapina Dunn. Neither wanting to take a backward step. It's been outstanding, though, from Cooper Penman. He has, of course, played representative level outside of the school system so little wonder why he's doing such a terrific job out there today Billy Rose also a strong first half showing lots of good straight drives up through the middle for De La Salle carrying bar and on the Holy Cross College side it's been the, the Custo boys Isaac with the two tries. Finn with one, and we're back underway here for the second half. So De La Salle carrying bar, first use of the ball. Looking to get back on level peggings. Penman drops it down. Hops over to this right-hand side. Pisani there as well. Rose keeps it alive. Rolled back. Look at the width they're playing with as well. Rose was in that link position. There was a good 20 metres between him and his winger. They didn't ask too many questions in that set, though. So now Fotheringham working at Ford. Custo, Finn, that is. Now to Isaac. Isaac coming forward. Finn caught. Bouncing around here. Here's Finn. Good meterage. Isaac scoops it up with one hand. Stepping off that right foot. Nowhere to go on this occasion. Now tries to take off. Oh, Penman didn't give up on the play. Dove at the feet. And collected him. Boy, do we have a final on our hands. Lawrence makes the touch on Devane. Meters here from Javeski. Cautioned once in that first half. Javeski, short ball here. Nice straight charge from Danuccio. Last one here for them now. Now try and send that out to the wing there of Marshall Barlow. They got up in the passing lane. Didn't play at the ball, though, so... Smart defence. Out to this right-hand side they come. Finn, and now to Isaac. Up towards halfway. Javeski makes the touch. Good pressure. Back on the inside. Rapina Dunn couldn't wind up. It was Tapper who made the touch. Now Luca Rach. That distinctive running style. Low to the ground. Constantly changing angle. Rapina Dunn sets it over the top. Intercepted, but offside. So another set to work with here for Holy Cross College Ride. 
Still to go in this one. The margin just one try. Rapina Dunn drops it down. Has another look at them. Great ball from Rapina Dunn. Kilby's on the spot. And first strike in the second half goes the way of the home team. 6-4 the score. Long way to go still. They would have loved to have been first to score. They've trailed the entirety of this match. De La Salle carrying bar. An early 2-0 lead for Holy Cross College right. And they've worked their way back in the contest though. Devane perhaps should have let it go there for Javesky. A little bit of room to move down the wing. Now Penman dancing around. Tough to deal with. Kilby sees him off. Now Penman bouncing towards that left-hand side of the field. Good touch made there from Rapina Dunn. Penman now back to this left-hand side. Last one here for De La Salle, Karingbar. Pisani dummies a couple of times. Pisani goes through, passes over the top of Javeski. Just out in front. To try gone begging here for De La Salle carrying by Pisani did all the hard work. In fairness to Javeski, it was a tough one to take out in front at full tilt. Now Finn bouncing around. Isaac scoops it up with one hand, but the pass comes free. Six four at the moment. Carrying bar would certainly love to be next to score. Very close in that previous set as Rose is caught now. Once more, they picked up on an indiscretion here. I think it might have actually gone against Karingbar. And an incorrect play the ball there. Not playing it directly on the mark is the call. Finn brings it wide and now Isaac back through the middle. Dummy comes out, drop down. Here's Iongi. He plays it nice and quick. They had an opportunity to work with the strike dump there. Instead, a slower approach was preferred. Oh, what a pass at the death from Finn Custo. Isaac stays alive. That's one of the best passes you'll ever see. Millimetres from the ground. He flicks it up with the one hand, and nobody saw it coming. It's a magic show, and the Custo boys are the main act. Isaac collects a hat-trick. He might have paid a price for it too. He comes to the sideline hobbling. A little bit of cramp, but 7-4. No doubt about it. That is the try of the day. Couple of dummies here now pushing through is Barlow. Barlow. Holding firm. Waiting for the opportunity to present itself. Barlow drops it down now. Going long on this occasion. A tough one to take under pressure and a chance to roll this one quickly and go on the counter-attack. Kanan keeps it alive. Kilby, fancy footwork. Kanan with the no-look pass and then attempting to wrap back around. Kilby stepping in, catching in the one motion. Kanan now driving upfield, following him. Keeps moving forward. Kilby under pressure. Last play now here. Kanan drops it back on the inside. Well read, though, from De La Salle carrying bar. And situation since half time. It's got a much more dire. Two extra tries here for Holy Cross College ride. Has them with a good advantage now. 7 4. Fair to say. Carrying bar must be next to score on this particular occasion. About 13 minutes and 15 seconds remaining. Still one more grand final to come your way here on our main field. That'll be the senior boys. Lovely pass over the top. Oh, good saving effort there from Fotheringham. Did enough to beat the initial attempt there of Donkin. Fotheringham was there on the spot to save the day. Tapper drops it down. 
Marshall Barlow. Still they keep operating down that right hand side, turning it back toward the middle under pressure. That ball comes free. Just like to see them look to the left a little bit more. They've had success there. Javeski had a try that went begging around about five minutes ago. So they've already shown they can break down that defensive edge. Kilby now comes forward. He thought he was offside. The attempt there of Danuccio. Kilby wanted to keep playing through. Kanan. Rapina Dunn. Drops it down. Kanan. Flat ball here for Kilby. Good metres here. Strong drives. Rapina Dunn receives it. Finds Kilby. And there is forceful contact there. Big time from Danuccio on the last. A real coach killer here for Gab Rose. So a whole set to try and contend with now. Rapina Dunn shows it. The dummy gets to ground quickly. And he beats both defenders who completely took the dummy. And in true fashion for the word, he did make them look very foolish. So that 5-4 half-time half -time scoreline is really blown out here. 8-4 now. And the Holy Cross College Rye boys on the hill are up in support. Devane, Pisani, Penman now. Work to do here. Penman assessing the situation. Now looks to have a crack at them. Nowhere to go though. Last play and it will be static. No strike done for them. Penman back on the inside at speed. Finn Custer got across in time. Made the touch. An important one in the grand scheme of things. So 8-4 it remains. Situation looking a little bit dire now for Karing Bar, who worked their way back into the contest. 5-2 just before the break. Two late tries in that first half. Gave them a little look. And they started with the ball in hand in the second half and went very close to scoring a try. But now as we approach the final 10 minutes of this one, the situation has become a little bit desperate. They need to score next. Probably can't allow Ryan to score another one at all. Penman scoops it up with the one hand. Now, was he back on side there, Custer? No, he wasn't. Referee's right on the spot. They've done a great job today, our officials. Nothing has got past them. So another set to work with here. Penman. Slow approach to begin things. Custo makes the touch. Penman once more looking for an opening. Steps back on the inside, then collapses off the left foot. Now Penman thinks he's got through. But the touch is confirmed here from the Custo boys. Finn and Isaac combining nicely. Devane. Off the left foot a couple of times. Penman. Billy Rose in an acting half. And now Penman wrapping around to Vane. Changing the angle and the emphasis. Oh, lovely ball. Great touch, though. It was Billy Donkin who jammed in from the wing. Got there just in time. Last one now here for carrying by lovely ball. Penman had to release. Devane was in oodles of space. Also had Javeski on his outside. Penman, though, got white line fever. Well, black line fever as it would be here at Holy Cross College Ride. It's the darker markings. Rapina Dunn cycles the footy back towards Kanan. That one goes to ground. There's certainly no way Penman's done anything wrong on that occasion. He was concerned for a moment there, Cooper. I just keep giving them a sniff here, though. Holy Cross College. A little bit of ill-discipline creeping in. Carrying bar once more with a chance here. The De La Salle boys looking to get their fifth try of the match and reduce that margin. Penman out here for Pisani. Lovely draw and pass. This time, no mistake for Javeski. There it is. It finally comes, and that might be the blueprint. 
Eight five. It's not done with yet. Seven forty on the clock. Plenty of time in the world to touch footy. And for Holy Cross College, Ryan, they just have to keep things simple. Stick to the policies. Complete the sets. Nothing fancy. And staying strong in defence. That's the order of the day. Jenna Belcastro. Rapina Dunn scoops it up, tries to get away from them. Oh, great footwork from Rapina Dunn. And just did enough to stop him from scoring, but silky smooth. I learned the penalty, and he's pretty happy with that anyway, Rapina Dunn. Out here for Kilby. Drops it down. Kilby once more. Kilby the hop and the scoot. Kilby getting very close. Getting it down. Kilby has done it for them. Another one on the board for Holy Cross College Ride. It's 9-5. Just as they've begun to get themselves back in the game. They stretch out once more here. So work to do as Danuccio drives forward. Danuccio delays the pass. Beautifully lovely play down a narrow short side. O'Hanlon is there to capitalise. That's exactly what the doctor ordered. 9-6 now. So it's back-to-back -back sets they've scored here, De La Salle carrying but They'd have a little bit of confidence coming into the final five minutes and 50 seconds of this contest. Iongi's back out there as well, sitting out on this right wing here for Holy Cross College Ride. Isaac and Finn too, the Custo boys there. Finn for Isaac. Isaac bouncing around, Finn now hops in at acting half, sends it off quickly to that left-hand side. And they've done enough there to catch out Charlie Rapp, who's offside. Barlow making the touch now. Raich at speed. Oh, what a pass from Luca Raich. He hit the line at pace and then a lovely floating ball. Nice and flat directly into the waiting arms of Yongi. Brings up double digits. Once more, that four-point margin restored. 10-6. And importantly now for De La Salle carrying bar. Less than five minutes remaining. They must come away with points off the back of this set, you'd have to imagine. I can't concede anymore. Penman. For Billy Rose. Pisani. Penman once again. Another penalty here for Karingbar. Penman at speed, bouncing off the right, off the left, and then getting to ground quickly and does enough to squeeze between a couple of defenders. Penman once more takes the game directly to the opposition. 10-7 now. Still not done with. Can they break the cycle, though? It's been tit for tat, try for try. 3.45 on the clock. If they can hold out Ride on this set. Score a try of their own. Ride might just start watching that scoreboard tick down. I'll lose a little bit of focus potentially. Kilby turns it back toward the middle. Rapina Dunn. Kilby again, the draw and the pass. Rapina Dunn on the last now. Kanan. Kanan twisting, turning. Sending it away here for Kilby. Kanan on the wraparound. Changing the angle once more. Rapina Dunn. It's touched in flight. Back into the hands of Rapina Dunn. On the last as well. Full set to work with here. For Ryan once more. Kanan. Rapina Dunn slams it down. And that might be it. No, they'll call him back. So close to being a done deal. But 
The clock now, the biggest issue here for Karing Bar. Less than three. These sets have eaten up plenty of time. It has to come now for De La Salle. Rose running at who he thought was an offside marker. No penalty called though. Penman drops it back. Devane. Billy Rose with good metres here. Up into enemy territory now. Penman. Back to Billy Rose. They need a strike dump. This is the last now. Penman running at Kanan, who is offside. Penman puts the foot down. He can't score himself. Over the top. What a pass that was. But I think they're going to call the touch. Well, right aren't moving. They've thrown the ball back to halfway. Carrying Burren, yes, the try will be disallowed. I think it might have been a forward pass. So it remains at 10-7. High drama here at Brother Benedict Olsen Oval at Holy Cross College Ride. Gusto. Finn has been terrific in this match. So too is Isaac, though. It's essentially a pick of those two for MVP. Maybe a joint one in process. Isaac for Finn. Driving forward, last play now. Here comes Isaac. Full pelt. Penman marks up well, though, makes the touch. There won't be enough time, though, for De La Salle carrying by. That trophy is staying right here at Holy Cross College Ride. Back-to-back -back victories in both the junior and intermediate boys. Carrying bar. Playing until the final whistle here. We'll get to see Reesby in action next. And the senior boys, and here comes Marshall Barlow now, drawing pass, lovely ball there. But the touch pass will be called. Inside the final minute. 10-7, Ryde would love to finish with one more try, but they've done enough here. Now Luca Rach taking them on on the outside. Good metres from him. Very unlucky there from Luca Rach. There's certainly a man who is clearing back through the play the ball. And that is the way it should go. So there's a late correction to the call. Another set here for Ride. Just 10 seconds remaining now. They'll lap up every last moment here. You can hear the crowd chant. All the seconds down, the home fans in big support here. Kanan sends it down the sideline for Duncan. Oh, the dummy. Duncan's going to finish it in some style. There's the swan dive. What a way to finish here for Holy Cross College ride. A bit of showmanship at the death. And the celebrations begin. Duncan with a ripper to close things out. It'll finish 11-7. Back-to-back -back grand final victories for Holy Cross College Ride. We've got one more game to come your way. Hope you're enjoying all the action here on Community TV. Full-time in the Intermediate Boys Grand Final. Holy Cross College victorious over Carring Bar. 11 tries to 7.
be first cousin once removed. You have to be like first cousin once removed. I don't know, you just said first cousin. Well, here we are, the culmination of a terrific day of action for the Sydney Catholic Schools Touch Football Autumn Championships. The home side, Holy Cross College Ride, two from two in the junior and intermediate boys looking to make it three from three here in the senior boys division. They take on Reevesby Heights, De La Salle. This should be an absolute cracker. Unfortunately, we won't get to see the entertainment of Christian Azzi. One of the real superstars of the touch footy world. He suffered a shoulder injury just prior to this tournament taking place, but still so much talent across the board. Likes of Maxwell Elias as well. Certainly a familiar name there, the first cousin of Benny Elias. Balmain royalty. But for this particular fixture, we are 40 minutes away potentially from grand final glory for one of these two sides. A trophy on the line. Warm conditions remaining here in the crowd only building. There's the hooter. We're underway. Reesby Heights will get first use of the ball. Upfield they march here through Bashara. Bashara bouncing off the left foot. Trying to escape the attention there of William Stone. Stone makes the touch, though. Once more, Bashara heavily involved in this set so far. Sends it out to that white hand side for Riley Todd Bonsalar. Last play now. Todd Bonsalar having a look at them collapsing from a distance. Not fooling anyone, though. So now forward they march through Caden Kanan. Brother Jared already picking up. A trophy so far today, appearing in our previous match in the intermediate division. Here is Caden, though, sending it out to this left-hand side. Karakakis. Just trying to get around the outside. Good touch made, though, in the end, though, from Ben Rowe. And that will be the turnover. So Reesby Heights standing firm at the moment. Neil all the score. Strong start from both sides here so far. Todd Bonsalar sending it on. Now Daniel Luca. Before they drive here through row. Made the try saving touch in that defensive set. Beatty. Last play now here for them. Beatty receives it back or tried to flick it on. The pass was behind him. Padovano. No way he could possibly reel that one in, even with Gogo -Go Gadget Arms. Kanan with the dummy now. It's Holy Cross. Got on the attack here through Elias. Mardini now driving forward in that white cap. Little dummy comes in from Broadbent. Mardini to Broadbent. Luke Broadbent now playing it on the last. Oh, was he ever back on side? No, he wasn't. Play through call. A great call from the referees. Good hand. Somehow picks it up off the turf. Try time here for Holy Cross College Ride. Now that is eyes up footy. Playing to the whistle. 
They never got back the required distance. Terrific officiating too, to allow play to keep flowing. And first try of the match goes the way of Ride. One nil. So Reeves Heights now through Bashara. Bouncing around. Forrester. Bashara, not a great pass there. His arm was contact as he was throwing it. And the bearings went a little ray there. Short pass there from Broadbent. Now Kanan. Touches made though from Todd Bonsalar. Quick play the ball, and now off the back of it, William Stone picking up good meterage, picked up and scooped. Here they go now, looking to try and find an opening here. But the touch pass will be called nonetheless. Still one try the difference here. Early on in the contest, we know that Holy Cross College had a whole range of attacking exponents in their outfit so they're doing a good job to match them at this point in time all the dummy came out but Murray had a little bit of open space if he tiptoed along the sideline there Pengu wrapping around Pengu dummy a couple of times caught back on the inside well watched in defence Kanan will play it now Kanan, strong contact, marching forward. Now that could actually go against Rai. There it is. Pengu lets him know about it too. There is a bit of feeling in this one. And they'll be called out immediately here. The referees will have none of that, even if it was against them. The crowd are well and truly into it too. It's a great atmosphere at Holy Cross College Ride. Brother Benedict Olsen Oval. So one try to nil. Breesby Heights with their best opportunity of the match so far. Can they level the scoreboard here? Pengu bouncing around. Pengu offers it away now for Luca. Luca still an option through the middle. Pengu for Todd Bonsalar getting close to the line. Turned away here. Back to the seven metre mark. Pengu, Todd Bonsalar. They'll drop it down. Pengu on the wraparound has another crack at them. Turned away once more. Last play now here for Reesby Heights. Pengu sends it out to that wide side, trying to promote the pass there. It was touched in flight. It'll be another set to work with here for Reesby Heights. Todd Bonsalar. Once more driving hard at them. Todd Bonsalar, they were never back on side, were they? Just in time, apparently. Luke Broadbent was caught in no man's land momentarily. And back chat. Well, that is a real coach killer. They still had a good two or three plays left. But Daniel Luca has been pinged for mouthing off at the referee. And they'll hand over possession. Driving strongly here. Mardini involved as well. Here he comes again. Christian Mardini drops it down. Last play here. Broadbent sending it long. Reesby Heights all caught flat-footed. Straight on the money. And Cohen Davis set sail for the line. He put the foot down. Changed angle as the ball was mid-flight. And there's a second try here for Ryan. Terrific finishing from Cohen Davis. So two tries to nil here. Flat ball provided for Bashara. He then hops in at acting half on the follow-up play. Sends it out now to Beatty. Beatty for Padovano. And then back towards the middle they come. 
Straight is the direction here from Bashara. Bashara floating a pass across now. It was touched in flight there. Elias got fingertips to it out there on that right wing. Bashara bouncing off the left. It's all very lateral at the moment here, though, from Reesby Heights. Working towards that strike dump, though. The pass comes a little bit too early. Easy pickings in the end there for Kanan. Beatty. Bashara. Once more, having a look at the line. Stops on the run. Tracks back towards that seven metre mark. Turns it away here for Forrester. Now Bashara with numbers on that right hand side. Sends it wide early. Well tracked across though. Good touches made in the end from Ride. They see off the danger, and now there's just one final play. No strike dump to work with. Beatty sends it here for Bashara. Nothing really doing. Now flick it out the back, and Ryder frustrated. Reesby Heights. Great pace of our proceedings so far in this one. Short ball provided. Bashara makes the touch on Stone. Now Kanan driving forward, lovely drive as well. Picks up good meterage. They'll slow it down on the follow-up though. Karakakis now. Stone caught here. Kanan feigning to deliver, then taking off himself. All good footwork. Kanan over the top, passing here for Karakakis. They got the touch in time though. Last one now here for Holy Cross College ride. Set both sides of the play the ball. Kanan crabbing across to that left-hand side. Now he takes off. Well tracked into the fence, though. There's the changeover. Stone makes this touch. Out to this left-hand side, they'll come now. Pengu looking to get back in on the action. Todd Bonsala drives it forward. Pengu now in an acting half. Sends it here for Beatty. Beatty. Rolling it back. Good metres on offer here for Daniel Luca. Quick play the ball as well. Pengu tries to exploit that. Lovely hands from Murray. But a diving touch from William Stone saves the day. 2-0 it remains. High tension here at Holy Cross College ride. Around about 10 minutes remaining in this first half. Quality game of touch footy so far. The last of the day. Hope you're enjoying all the action here. Thanks to Sydney Catholic Schools. Short pass provided now, Moala. Last play here for Ride. They'll keep operating down the short side, trying to squeeze through a gap between Link and Wing, but unable to do so. Pengu, hopping in an acting half once more. Riley Todd Bonsalar again. Diving touch here from right just to stop the momentum. Bang on that halfway line. Pengu turns it back out to that right-hand side. Last play now. Pengu with a lovely scoop. Play on for now. Tough one to take. It's left behind from Josh Murray. Elias was there supplying the pressure. Now good metres on the follow-up. Broadbent. Short pass here for Kanan. Has to go back onto the mark, though. That just quells the momentum a little bit. Beatty stepping up, but doesn't make the touch. Now, Radu Mayali. The dummy comes in here from Karakakis, who's looked dangerous so far. Karakakis again through the middle. Kanan. There is bounce as well. Kanan, ushering players out to that left-hand edge. Wants the strike dump, now he gets it. Kanan, once more, scheming, having a look himself. Beatty does enough though, good touch made in flight. Still at 2-0 here. 
frenetic pace about things. Certainly does have the feel of a grand final. Just over seven and a half minutes remaining in the first half. A long way still to go. Touch made there on the run of Patrick Forrester. Riley Todd Bonsalar once more coming forward. Bashara out for Forrester. Forrester, good footwork. Now, even if he did beat him, ball goes to ground, and that is well and truly going to be called as a touch pass. It was miles after the initial touch was made from Ride. Now, get those fresh replacements onto the field as well. Broadbent returning, so to Moala. Now Davis continues. Moala on the follow-up. Broadbent picked up here. Good metres on offer so far in this set here for Rye. Once more, they attack. Looking for a lovely finish here from Elias, who might have done enough. It was an outstanding acrobatic effort in the corner. And I'm not sure they did get him. They'll call it. But from this vantage point, it looked like Elias had done enough. Back to the middle they go. They'll take off here through Mardini. Mardini can't get around them. Once more, a nice saving touch. The big dive came out. So Riley Todd Bonsalar now looking to drive forward. Under pressure here from Ryan. Todd Bonsalar back to Bashara. And once again, an indiscretion here. Turnover once more. Ryan in good field position. Broadbent, Broadbent, with plenty of room to move there. Reesby happy to sit on their heels and wait for him to approach them. They do, of course, have to step up to the seven, otherwise they'll be penalised for not engaging the attacking line. Broadbent, what a pass that is. Moal is on the spot. Broadbent ran at them at pace. A lovely draw and pass. And a third try here for Holy Cross College Ride. Time running out in this first half. Round about five minutes remaining. They'd love to get something on the board before half time here, Reesby Heights. They have had a few opportunities, mainly on this left-hand edge. This Pengu. Slows it down. Luca on his inside. That's the way he goes. Luca now rolls it inside the seven. Pengu looking dangerous, trying to link up. He's out of acting half. Now, was there a touch made? Pengu is suggesting there certainly wasn't. The touch was made, but the initial issue was that ride were offside. So as a result, we'll come back to the seven-metre mark again. A fresh set to work with here for Reesby Heights. Pengu slowing it down just a touch Pengu once more picks it up, has a little scoot pops a short pass played inside the 7 once again, good touch made, that was Radamayali Pengu Turning it back to the open side. They keep cycling the footy here. But Rye continuing to push forward. Supply the pressure. Pengu. Oh, tipped on. Nearly worked there for Beatty. Pass went forward out in front anyway. Of the waiting support. And now Davis will restart things here for Ride, Playing right at the advantage line. A couple of good drives in a row. Good momentum about this set too as Kanan now wraps around once more. Draw and pass comes again. Radumayali turns it away and then once more down the sideline. Cohen Davis has got speed to burn. Puts on the Jets. And there's another try here for Ride. And now it well and truly is one-way traffic. Four tries to nil. And a few choice words here with Bashara as well from Reesby Heights. There's definitely a bit of feeling about this game. 
It's Cohen Davis with a double in the grand final. Bashara now driving forward. I'll turn it out towards that right-hand side. Bashara at first receiver, back towards the middle. Short pass. Bashara in an acting half. Sends it here for Todd Bonsalar. Drops it down inside the seven. Bashara, short ball. Riley Todd Bonsalar nearly got away from them. Good touch made just in time from Mardini. Back onto the seven. Last play now. Bashara floats a pass. Now out wide for Forrester, who creates something out of nothing. Forrester! I think this one might actually count, will it? No, they've just got him in time. Very close run thing. Padovano nearly found a way through. Instead, it remains 4-0. It could be 5 because Broadbent goes all the way through, does he? Well, they're claiming the touch, and Broadbent can't believe it. Todd Bonsalar was the man who said, I got a, a fingertip to the boot. And the Holy Cross College students certainly letting the referees know what they think about that one. They might be a little bit biased, though. Ball over the top. Taken in. And the touch is made, though, from Beatty. So there is the changeover. Final moments of this first half. There's a lot of work to do here for Reesby Heights in the second. With just around about a minute left. Pengu, that ball out in front of him, did a good job to reel it back in. Luca, now Beatty. Back to Luca once more. Touch is made from Broadbent. Pengu drops it off here for Todd Bonsalar. Pengu again, stepping out of this right-hand side, then back against the grain, keeps it alive. Intercept taken here from Mardini now. Todd Bonsalar. There was contact there. Perhaps lucky not to be penalised for forceful contact. Certainly wouldn't be the first instance in this match, that's for sure. Beatty pushed away. Well, that will go against Rye. That was silly. Beatty simply held his ground, basketball style. And drew the foul, so to speak. Final seconds of this first half here. Can Reesby Heights get on the board? Todd Bonsalar. Now for Pangu. Luca. Back to Pangu. There's the siren. Will they conjure up something here right at the death? No, the touch is made from Karakakis. And it's a strong first half display. And there's a few words also coming out here from Pangu and Todd Bonsalar. And Pangu has to drag him back. There is a lot of feeling in this one. And Daniel Luca just calming things down here for Reesby Heights. But that tension, it developed early. Pengu and a few of the Holy Cross College Rye players had more than a few things to say. But at halftime, all the talking has been done by Holy Cross College Rye. They lead 4-0. We'll take a quick break right here on Sydney Catholic Schools, the Autumn Championships for Touch Football Senior Grand Final.
Welcome back here for the second half of our final match of the day. Sydney Catholic Schools Autumn Championships for Touch Football, the Senior Boys Division. And a great first half there from Holy Cross College Ride, leading De La Salle Reesby Heights four tries to nil. It's been a lot of tension in it. Bit of a fiery affair at times too. Pengu and Todd Bonsala in the thick of things for Reesby Heights. But at the moment, all the bragging rights are with Ride. They've been strong across the board. The message at half time from the Ride coaching staff, surprisingly enough, they weren't actually very happy with the attacking efforts of Holy Cross. They've scored four times. It was the defence that they were more impressed with. Reesby Heights yet to cross the try line. You fancy if something is to happen, it might be a combination of Pengu and Mark Bashara. We haven't really seen them featuring together, though. It's more been a case of the two being separated and used as a, an interchange, if you will, in terms of that playmaking role. So perhaps the way forward might be to combine their powers as Karakakis sends it back to the middle here for Kanan. First use of the ball in the second half here for Holy Cross. Kanan sending it wide, that one in between link and wing. And as a result, that one hits the deck. And nothing really to deal with in the early exchanges here in the second half. For Reesby Heights. It's Forrester comes forward, now Beatty with a short pass. Bashara running in traffic and picks up another good 10 or so metres. Bashara sends it here for Forrester. Touch is made, last one now. One-handed scoop here from Bashara. Forrester taps it on. Beatty over the top. Lovely pass. Now Padovano certainly thinks they got it away in time. But touch pass is the call. It was very close there for Beatty. A little bit more enterprising there from Reesby Heights, and it might need something like that. Something a little different just to break things up here. Short pass provided now for Radu Mayali. Radu Mayali hopping in at acting half now. Short ball provided and Kanan interchanging the passing here with Karakakis. Takes the touch now. Kanan picks it up and has a crack at them. Nice quick play here from Ride. Turned away and Rowe stands tall in defence. It's a good start so far in this second half here from Reesby Heights. That's the way to go, though. And under all sorts of pressure there, they really got that muddled. And the instructions from the sideline were forward first. That was all lateral before they decided to pick up a few metres. And look at the result. Another turnover here. Just inviting Holy Cross College once more at this Reesby line. Karakakis drops it down. A sloppy play, the ball. Nobody cleared through the ruck. There may have been a little bit of contact with the boot as he was playing it, but it certainly wasn't after the ball was placed. Todd Bonsala now comes forward. Luca. Pengu right at the advantage line. Court goes back onto the mark. That running battle continues between Pengu and basically the entirety of the right side. Pangu slowing things down here. Todd Bonsala now drops it down. Last play here. Pangu close the line, throws a long, tapped on from Beattie. That should be play on end for the corner. Has Padovano done enough? They'll have to confer here. The referees, it was a lovely attempted finish, and he has done so. Luciano Padovano gets them on the board. Four tries to one. It is not done with just yet. They've continuously attacked this right-hand side to start the second half, so clearly the coaching staff giving those instructions at the break as Moala comes forward now. Joppe plays it back now. 
Shapay Rocker still sitting out there in that link position now, wrapping around Rocker, entering the action. Has a dive from distance. He's got those long limbs, runs at full tilt, and he gets the reward here. Rocker goes in, and Ryder now rocking and rolling. Five tries to one. They restore that four-point margin. So just as Reesby Heights thought potentially the door might have been ajar, it's been closed once again. Bashara driving forward. Stepping off that right foot. Bashara once again up towards the defensive line. Todd Bonsala. Bashara. Rolls it back, last play now. Mark Bashara sending it long all the way over the top. Well watched in defence, though, from Elias. Had a bit to contend with there. Two on one situation. And now Mardini brings it forward here for Holy Cross. Mardini, short pass, broadband, knocked down intentionally there from Padovano. Kanan threatening to link up with Karakakis. Kanan again, turning it back towards the middle here for William Stone. Stone now slowing things down. Karakakis, a concerted approach in this set thus far. Stone. Feigns the drop and now finally provides here for Karakakis. Kanan wrapping around the back. Reesby eventually up to meet them. Stone will play it just inside the seven now. Kanan back on the inside for Stone. And it just goes begging. Very close run thing. And there's a real mix up here between Stone and Beatty. Stone did not want to release the ball. Perhaps lucky not to be marched upfield. Beatty, Todd Bonsalar now. Bashara comes forward. Todd Bonsalar. Good metres right up through the middle here, but no real pace about the play at the moment. Now Bashara looks to change that, though. Bashara at the line, floats it over the top. Padovano was never going to get around them there. But the touch was made before Bashara released the ball. Touch pass is called. There is the changeover. Dummy comes out here. And now good metres on the back of it from Broadbent. Under pressure is Radu Mayali. Nobody there for Davis. And had Reesby Heights been aware of it, he was out of acting half. And that would have been a turnover in great field position. Pengu, with a desperate effort, makes the touch. Now Broadbent. Dummies before sending it wide here for Chase Leston. Beatty, Rocker called out. Now surely no advantage there. That's what Pengu is saying. There's a player called out, and they kept marching upfield and then threw a pass only about a second later. So with that in mind, potentially it would have been a case of no advantage come back to the initial indiscretion. Moala. Driving forward now, they'll have another crack at them here through Mardini. Mardini sending it wider still. Still live here for Holy Cross. Mardini slowing it. Broadbent now hops in at acting half, turns away from Mardini. Back out here for Moala. Moala the draw and pass. Now, Padovano is suggesting he never actually played to the ball. I think he might even have a case. He was up in the passing channel. But there was no obvious play at the ball itself. That 50-50 favouring the home side here. Holy Cross. Still leading 5-1. Broadbent trying to squeeze between Luca and Rowe. Broadbent for Mardini. Mardini now rolls it back. Mardini again having a little look, dancing in traffic. Back to the seven metre mark he goes.
Broadbent. Now Moala. Broadbent once more, an option through the middle. They just didn't number up. There was nothing really doing. They stacked their right-hand defensive edge and forgot about the left. And an easy try there for Broadbent. Out to 6-1. And now they have improved on that half-time margin. And there's still quite a bit of time remaining, around about 10 minutes. It is possible for them, but the way that Holy Cross are playing, you'd have to back them in from here. Still, where there is life, there's hope. Bashara now brings it forward. Slowing it up on this play. Todd Bonsala in an acting half now. Bashara has a crack at them. Gets to ground quickly. That's what the doctor ordered. Mark Bashara collapses. Gets to ground. Get to try. 6-2. Not going away just yet here, Reesby Heights. Holy Cross in control. But it's not a sure thing at this point in time. Now play it back underway here through Canaan. It's been a good five-minute period here for Reesby Heights. 2-1 if you identify that particular period. They can be next to score. Confidence might just build a touch. Karakakis drops it down and now Kanan exploding. Karakakis under pressure there from Rowe. Touch is made. One final play to see off here for Reesby Heights. Options back through the middle. Karakakis stepping off the left foot. Late release. Released after the touch, in fact. Just not on the mark there was Pengu. Now getting back underway. Strong touch coming in there from Stone. Has been in the wars in this one, Pengu. And again, they come forward and put the pressure on. Karakakis. They haven't forgot about those first half indiscretions in their mind. As Rowe trying to squeeze through a little gap. Pengu, though, to his credit, not backward in coming forward, despite the adversity. Here he is now in an acting half. Todd Bonsalar, nowhere to go. And there is a strong touch from Stone. Well, that's multiple in the one set. And I'd have to say he's probably lucky not to be forced subbed here. And the call has come from the sideline too. No more of that from William Stone. Todd Bonsalar. Now dropping it down, Luca Pengu having a crack at them back against the face. Good diving effort there to stop the try. I think that might have been Kanan. Back to the seven metre mark. Pengu slowing it down. Pengu drops it off again, has a look at them, finds an open passage here for Rowe. Elias did enough, but Stone was caught in no man's land. Again, Pengu has analysed the situation. Great take in flight there from Murray. Did he get it down in time? No, they've just got a, a clutch touch. That will be the last one now. So Reesby Heights have lost track of the touch count. Elias distributes. And now it is the last here for Pengu. Turns it here for Luca. Nothing really doing, though, for Reesby Heights. They'll simply kill it well away from the box. And Stone will be told to come to the sideline here. He has been quite fired up. But now here comes Karakakis on the march forward. It's around about six and a half minutes remaining here. Still enough time here for Reesby Heights. Another try in the next couple of sets. Things could get very interesting here. Bashara caught there from Rocker. Now Forrester jinking off both feet. Bashara with a little dummy. Last play now. Todd Bonsalar. Bashara under all sorts of pressure. Elias does a great job. 
Marks the flight of the ball. Takes it with two hands, but pick your indiscretion there from Reesby Heights. Touch pass. Passes forward as well. Back to the middle they come. Moala now with easy metres up through the middle. Broadbent follows in like kind. He drops it down. Rocker sends it out here for Mardini. Mardini back for Rocker. Broadbent, last play now. Broadbent bouncing around. Finds Joppe Rocker. Rocker, nowhere to go. We'll turn it over. So a little bit of a lull about proceedings here in the last couple of minutes. Reesby Heights have had the control of possession and Ride seem to just be going through the motions at the moment. Now Beatty picks up some good metres here up along the sideline. Moala eventually making the touch. Luca caught by Mardini. Pengu twisting, turning back to Luca. Receives it once more and then a very poor pass there from Pengu. It's been terrific for them so far in this match but that is a moment he would love to have over. Broadbent Turns it back here for Mardini. Try scorer in this grand final so far. Luke Broadbent. Bit of tireless worker, Mardini. Tries to drive through the middle. Rowe makes the touch, though. And it remains at 6 2, but time now becoming a massive factor here for Reesby Heights. Just over four minutes to play. The margin at four. Essentially, they need a try at the end of this set. Pengu brings it forward. Caught there. Through the middle. Forrester, good meters. A strong drive and a quick play the ball as well. Luca drops it down nice and quick. Pengu with a retreating defensive line. Pops a pass over the top. Forrester looking for support. Can't find it. And that will be the changeover. And that might be enough here for Holy Cross. Bit of an opportunity here for Broadbent. That pass has gone about three metres for it. Well, Mitchell Moses, eat your heart out from last season. The NFL has started early and in the wrong country. Canaan makes the touch now. Bashara for Beatty. Play on is the call. Now down the sideline. Padovano had to cut back in. Strong contact was made as well. And this could actually go against Reesby Heights here. It certainly will. Padovano just crashed into the waiting defence there of Canaan, who immediately said, Sir, I don't know what else I'm meant to do. Now Canaan with a great roll ball too. Karakakis. Trying to squeeze through a couple of defenders. Does more than that. He'll squeeze through them all and go all the way to the line. Well, Ben Karakakis, that is the try that should put the nail in the coffin. 7-2. And with just three minutes remaining. That'll be all she wrote. It was still alive for them. A very slim chance, of course, but that now well and truly... Provides that championship trophy here for Holy Cross College Ride. So all three of the boys' grades here, junior, intermediate, and senior. It's been a big day on their home ground. It's Bashar and Pangu. Finally, those two combined. I've been calling out for that throughout this match. We just haven't seen it. Now too little too late, but as to whether they can conjure up something anyway, that is the real question, of course. It's been a... Great defensive display from Wright as Todd Bonsalar now brings it forward. Easy pickings for Mardini. Less than two minutes remaining. They'll lap this one up here. Now, of course, hope for nothing silly. There has been a bit of feeling in this one. Rocker. Fred Ali. Elias. Mardini. Moala. Delays a pass beautifully here for Kanan. Beatty makes the touch though. Karakakis takes off once again. Kanan for Moala. 
Todd Bonsalar makes the touch. Numbers on this short side. Canaan takes off, sends it wide. Elias, great hands and a great finish. It's a famous name in this part of the world. And that was a famous play just then and there. Outstanding from Elias, who's been terrific in defence. Now gets himself a try. 8-2. And that puts the cherry on top of the cake. Just over 30 seconds remaining. One final chance here for Reesby Heights to put another try on the board, but a straight sweep across the boys' grades here for Holy Cross College Ride. Todd Bonsalar moving forward. Mardini makes the touch. Ten seconds remaining here. The final stages of a hard-fought grand final. Victory for the home side. Last play coming up. Bashara sends it long once more. Play on for now for Murray, who tries to squeeze through a gap. Turned away from Rocker and Leston. And that's all she wrote. Holy Cross College ride. An outstanding performance in the grand final. They would not be denied. 8-2 at full time. And what a day for the home side. Victory in the junior boys, intermediate boys, and now in the seniors division as well. It's been a cracking day of touch football. Hope you've enjoyed all the coverage. Thanks to Sydney Catholic Schools. We'll be back with our next event in a short amount of time. But for myself, James Preston, all the admin staff behind the scenes here at Sydney Catholic Schools and also the production crew here for Sideline Sport, thank you very much for tuning in. We'll catch you next time. Great job, man. Thanks, mate. Yeah.